you know, normal night, 10 p.m. at night. You walk into your son's room. He's under the covers. You're like, what you doing, man? He's like, nah. He kicks you out the room. Are you getting clean? He's getting, he's getting busy. He's first time. But you first time you caught him. Damn. What are you going to say to him? And he's all embarrassed and shit like that. You feel me? I hope, you know what I'm saying, that I'm able to have a very... Uh, good relationship. Good relationship with my child. Like, uh-huh. a very open dialogue kind of thing. Because I'm a very honest person. Yeah. So... I'm going to cook it. <laughs> I knew he was. I knew he is, bro. Nigga, man, you you think, yo, I'm you not going to fry that, nigga. But what you doing out there, bro? <laughs> uh, hey, you got this shit? What you on, bro? Like, nah, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm going to be nervous, bro. I'm going to be, bro. But hey, yo, you on that? You down there, nigga? Yo, yo, you white? Right? Ah. <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode 110. I'm your host, D.W.A.K. Darius, and I got my co-host with me. You want to introduce yourselves? Hey, man. I'm that guy that be there, bro. That's all y'all need to know. He be there. We don't know where there is. That tribe stories, though. Real shit. shit. <laughs> you know who the fuck it is, man. It's the chosen one, the only one, player one. I'm in the building. Y'all thought it wasn't me, but it was me. You know what I'm saying? I was playing. I was hot, but I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I'm here in the building on my left. You thought I wasn't going to do it? On my left, I have the one and the only, you know what I'm saying? The man. Oracle, the one who gets it started, the one who gets it done. DW, you know what I'm saying? The Uda. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Without the gun, you know what I'm saying? And on my right, first time doing a pod with my brother. What's going on? What's going on? I'm talking to this guy. Mr. T, you know what I'm saying? He pity the fool type shit, you know what I'm saying? My brother, <laughs> Tom, you know what I'm saying? Yes, in the building, you know what I'm saying? We're about yes, to do it big. For, oh, welcome back to No Regulars Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it started, bro. Yes, sir. Happy almost Halloween. We all got that shy season because you know how it is, bro. We want it in this world, bro. So we got to keep our faces tucked, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Got a little crazy <laughs> shit to talk about. But <laughs> what do you guys want to start off first? There's a lot of weird shit that's been going on in the world lately. Like what? Bro? No politics, though. Uh, you know, you know. Oh, I, you think I, I wasn't going to say free pop? No, you know, bro, you I ain't, I'm not in the uh, politics, bro. I ain't in the shit either, bro. Hey, bro but I am in the shit. Yo, you've been seeing what's going on with Jada and Will, bro? What y'all think about that shit, first bro? Of all, bro? Let's talk about that shit, bro. That was again, the first thing on my list. Again? Again? Crazy. Um, hey. First of all, it's, it's kind of it's kind of sickening. When you think about it, like, say you love somebody, bro. You've yeah. been loving this person for years and years. Y'all build a family. That's like, what, 30 plus years, man? Maybe even more, bro, because you you're not even that? counting the talking st- <laughs> what you're, not even, you're not even counting the talking stage, but you just been in love with this person for so what you feel like is love. We y'all build the foundation. The yeah. whole time she is thinking about another man for man. all these years. I think she's sick. Like a little sick. I think she's a little like I think it's a media play as well, but still you getting publicly humili- uh humiliated like I feel bad, bro. I said, do feel bad. They said folks in LA know that either A, this whole time they've been swingers. Just people that live in the area it said and people around the country said either the whole time they know that or heard from people that they know that be tapping Yeah, there, yeah. That they're either swingers or that both Will and Jada are gay and they're each other's cover up. That's what I seen on the internet. That they're speaking. gay? They're both gay and they're each other's cover up. Those are two nah, theories. Nah, that'd be O D. Those either, are two theories. Either I've seen way, online. right? Theory or not. Because they're displayed they're together. They're displayed to us as husband and wife. Mm-hmm. So Will is literally being disrespected. Nah, like, very disrespected. Like your wife's up, oh God, yeah, Tupac engaged to me. Tupac did this. You see what she posted on her birthday? But they, nah, <laughs> nah, that's insane. I don't, I don't follow none of that I don't stuff. follow none they of it just either. just keep showing you like what's like. That's what I'm saying. It's like they trying to, that's what I'm saying. It got to be some media shit. They trying to push it. Bro, Twitter for you ruined America. Bro, on her birthday, she posted like a video of her and Tupac when they was kids. Bro, yes. I'm like, and there was another birthday I seen on my timeline that she po- that uh, uh uh she posted a letter that her daughter that Willow wrote saying, "Oh, Tupac, please come back so we can all just be happy." And I was like, "Nigga, you would die!" Like, like I, don't I don't know even, what's like, going on because they said she came out and they both came out saying that at some point they're like, "Yeah, they're separated and they live two completely different." Yeah, lives. they did say that. But why keep telling me? I've never looked this stuff up and wanted yeah. to learn more. It's always just I ain't never like. It's not like people press her, like, yo, so what more about Tupac? 
she going on platforms and talking about Cuz. I know. Like openly. Openly, just going. No hesitation. Probably like, more than his mama did. God rest her soul. But I've seen more crazy. Jada Tupac content than anybody, than the, his homies, than the ones that's locked up, than his family. Just always, always, always like, damn. Like son, if that nigga bro. came back to life, bro, she would run to that motherfucker with the. But you know the, the crazy thing. What make me feel like it's a media thing is that they just they just solved the case, right? Just now solved the case. Everybody been on. Yeah. But they just now solved the case, and now after the case been solved. She um is acting up, acting up, talking about all oh, Tupac this, Tupac that. Ah, so you think so she's like adding on to it? Adding on to it. Yeah. She could be, she could be, because you know how you know how uh, the social media world is now. Like you throw some shit out there, niggas could blow it up to proportion like that. So that's probably what's going on oh, though. Yeah, she's over whooping. She she over whooping, right. bro. <laughs> yes. She is o- yo. She's over whooping. Like that's Tap not the whoop, bro. That's not the whoop, bro. That's not the not whoop, the bro. Whoop. Dang, bro. But you saying it correctly. Hey, you saying yeah. it. You said it. You, <laughs> you used it right. You used it right. Yeah. But, all right. So, I wanted to talk about, because I have a question, right? So, if you was ever to be in a relationship, would you rather be in Will and Jada's relationship no, or Krishan, Rock, and Blueface's relationship? Damn, what are we talking about? Which yeah. one would you rather be in? Will and Jada. Will and Jada? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> they both got kids. They both got kids. But the other one beats the other one. But the other one gets publicly humili- humiliated. I can't just be saying. <laughs> nah, I, be saying. I think I'll pick Will and Jada too, just cause I don't want to get beat, bro. Ali, but you see, I I'm I mean, picking Will. You and can Jada. do the beating too. Hit I'm picking. <laughs> I'm, picking Will, I'm picking Will and Jada, but I could see why people would say Blue Face and Krishan just because like they gonna yeah, fight she, back. She's no, she's ma- like they're not married. She's pregnant, but she, they're not. Being married and having this going, like if Will and Jada were just dating, then it's gonna be like they want to make the news cycle because they not married. Half of it is like his wife, her husband, they're disrespecting each other. Yeah, they're not that's married, a that's a holy fight. matrimony. If they were just dating, they'd be like, all right, they just a weird couple. Like they just throw it to the background because it's mad weird couples that every relationship it's like that y'all Jay tied in, for life. It, you know, bro, that's a, it's a marriage, and then you had <laughs> kids binded. in wedlock. Like you're just, that is just a whole different ball game. You mm. tied for them for life. You could date someone and like because it's. Celebrity, they gon' always know you guys dated, but when you get married, like to families and everybody in blood, it's just tied for life. It hit different. I, it do it, bro. But you are being publicly humiliated. That is true. Constantly. Nah, is true. I mean, and you feel for, for the first couple of years, Kerr was he was straight. It ain't start happening until he a old ass man. <laughs> the the only thing that what I, if it was longer though? The only like, thing it was I'd just, be wondering for. But real. it just got it got out eventually. I'd like, be wondering how long it's been going on and too like, because it's just I don't think that like. Y'all don't think that he did something? Because I feel like he. there's no way that... Like he cheated or something? All this would... Have, like, anything. Oh, like, he, you feel like she? this is a get back. I, because the thing is, right? This is I OD. Seen the last time this, the last time this made the news, right? I seen... And it was just on my Twitter timeline. She gave, like, the the, the first time it happened and they had the, 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 the red table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Thing. And then he said, yeah. But I'm a... <laughs> he said, I, after the uh, the August whatever thing, she, he said, yeah. But I'm a, he said, I'm going to get my get back. He said at the table. And she said, oh, no, you got your get back many times. Like, many times. She I think said, it had been putting up, bro, like, magic numbers or wilt numbers they to said, get. They said, she said, you've been putting up, you've been getting your get back a lot. So, like, I don't know, because they said apparently at that time they were separated already. But I feel like he did something. Like, I feel like he had to have done something. He There's just no way that she, because I know people be wilding, but doing all this, she's giving interviews about being in love with a man that passed away 30 years ago. I was Damn near 30 years ago. I was an Whoa. infant. I Most of our listeners yet. weren't even alive. How She's old is you, girl? I think you died in like 95. Was it like 95, 96? Yeah, it was, I wasn't born. Oh, we weren't born well, yet. I died in 95? Yeah, it was, it was pretty early. Wasn't it 90? No, it wasn't 99. Was it 98? Nah, it was like in the, yeah. it was like mid 90s. Might have been 94, actually. Okay. But the highest yeah. 96. And I was yeah, not highest, highest I was, 96. I was, I was about to say, you 30? I was in the, oh, no, he died in 96. I was not. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I was not. I was Hell not. no. I thought he was not for some reason. I thought he was in the late 90s. So it's going on, it's going on 30 years. Good Lord. <laughs> and she loved his man. But the, all right, so my thing is with the, with the other shit is I could never be with anybody like Krishan. Like, like like beating I do. the beating the aggression cool. the way how she talk act display herself but like just perform just how she 
is. I, see it. I just couldn't be with that. But what I about be cool with somebody like that? But I couldn't. But yeah. now you you could be with somebody that's like constantly just like not respecting you as a man. Psychological. I mean, attacks. you ain't gotta respect me. The other bit will. Ah. Uh. So we might have locked in who you was before and who you are now. It is what it is. I'll lock in with Lil Shardy from down the street. It's all right. Even mm-hmm. though you're going to make me bad guy, you're going to make me villain, whatever. I know what's going on for real. They That's said, how I look at it. They said they've been separated and basically living on other sides of the house. So, like, it's a big honestly, ass house. Got to be a big ass. A lot of money. <laughs> but, like, honestly, I'd rather take that than having to live in wherever they live in and then just get beat on and. Constantly, like having to look over your shoulder for a, a butter knife coming like your way. Debo, all the damn time living in your house. I can't even. She just randomly she, just get angry, just start throwing I got, shit. Now I got a question for niggas though, like yeah, for me, I kind of know y'all types, you know, you yeah, know my guys. But have y'all ever dealt with or wanted to deal with hood, hood chicks? Like, has that ever been a thing? Like, were you ever like open to it or cool with it? Like, you ain't really mine. Like, if she was from here, or acting like this, like, was there ever time like that? What's a what do you mean? Like, what's a hood chick? A sexy red player build. Ah, uh, no. Sexy, sexy red, <laughs> no, not player build, but sexy red badges. Ah, uh, no. I told y'all about the badge. Y'all say no more. <laughs> no. <laughs> sexy red badges, I'll, bro. The sexy red type, I'm fine with. But, like, if it's, like, if you overdoing it, if you, like, being oh. extra, extra, yeah, you over. <laughs> Yo. All the time, bro, I, I can't do that. But if you, like, if that's just your personality and it turns on and off, I don't. Give a damn, like, oh. nigga, I'm, I'm I feel like it would be cool at times. Like he said, like turning off the personality here and there that should be fine. But if it's like constantly, I don't know, bro. I can't deal with the consistent suburban chick. That shit's annoying that's too. Just, that's just that terrible. What do you awful. mean by consistent suburban chick? A so woman just, that's whole personality is sculpted around being in the suburbs and doing Jack and Jill just, as a damn child. It don't matter what money. Okay, it don't matter what skin. What skin tone? Just uh, like they mind at the suburb. Like we outside and they feel untouchable. Ah, uh, like I know what you be moving properly. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like 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 Jay for example. Like she's more like street smart. Like she like we both have street smart, but she has a little bit more than me. Yeah, J Tech. So she's yeah. a thug. So she, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but she been she been. Oh, I thought she. <laughs> <laughs> she she a little thug, but she like she. She maneuver. She teaches me a little things like how to maneuver certain ways mm-hmm. that yeah. I never really was like used to and shit like that. So it kind of helps me out. Exactly. Give you but it's not like she. She not like hood, but she can get to that if I know want you to be. Don't want that hood out there. That's funny. Yeah. Now for, for <laughs> me, I don't. So I had a time period in life where I did deal with, because I'm from around the way. I go everywhere. I'm in this town, this town, that town, all the town. So good I may be dealing with a girl that was from Irvington or a girl that's from Newark. Like you just. Never know. But what woke me up was I'm on her block and all her block is a block like it's a real You can't park. You gotta keep No, no. I'm a kid. <laughs> I'm about fifteen, sixteen, so I gotta catch the bus oh. over there. And the block be hot, bro. The block be hot. Damn. So I was just like The block was hot that day, bro. I was like, oh, do I wanna keep dealing with this? But as far as personality wise, if they know when to to you know, turn on the the loud, the ratchet, and when to turn it off. Yeah, that's I'm cool. cool. But I'm I don't like things. I don't like loudness, bro. I don't I don't like loudness. I don't like I don't, loudness. I don't even like talkative people. Nah, like I that. don't. I don't like that at all. Wait, what did that? What does this mean? The hand? I'd be like that. But um, I'd be like that. I give it. What to loud? Myself. Yeah. I mean, yeah. no, but you're loud like and talkative. Double it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but it's like. Ball. <laughs> but it's like I'm talking like. You know what, like, loud females are. Yeah. Like, they just, they need to make their they presence Like, they got to walk in a room and want everybody to look at them. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't like that at all. I don't all. like that I don't, that, for, so that shit, shit like that would be cool to, you know, ones and twos. But to say I'm going to marry somebody like that and be, nigga, fuck no. I, yeah, no. Nah. I like low-key women. I don't draw yeah. attention to myself. No, you don't. Do no, that. you don't. That's I what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I be loud with my friends all making jokes. Ha-ha. Like, I'm just naturally loud. But I don't right. yeah. to, like, draw attention myself i know mad dudes that we know mad dudes that do that too and just be weird so it's not even just a women thing some niggas just be off it but uh first and yeah. first and foremost i feel like you gotta walk in in a room with a certain mystique you, yeah like you gotta walk in a room and people gotta want to know who Shout you are like 
know what I'm saying? People got I want to know who you are. Like, like I never walk in a room and immediately start talking. I may walk in a room, that nigga's up was good. Yeah, that's I, I mean. won't even engage in a conversation when I first walk in. I'll come back to you. Yeah. For me, but, but you know, there's some people in the world that like they like attention and they yeah. will seek attention. Uh, and they like it's like a drug to them. They see attention, it just builds up their whole day and makes their whole mood and then the personality comes out. But sometimes you just got like that's when niggas get do too much. And then it's just like, yeah, nah, it's just look look a little weird, bro. Look like you try too hard, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm never I'm scared of attention, bro. Never I'm give me the girl who who is loud. Never do it, bro. It won't work. Never give me the argumentative one. It won't work. What do you mean by argumentative? Like so seeking yeah. arguments, or yeah. she is good with arguments. Like seeking she cook you. arguments. Okay. You know, no, nobody's gonna cook me. Yeah. Because I know how to pick and choose your fights. So if you're, if I'm arguing, it's because I know I'm right. Ah, uh, I will never argue when I know I'm wrong. Niggas have still yet. Our friends have yet to discover this. I always have a strong ass argument when I'm yelling with niggas. <laughs> niggas have yet to discover this and still don't understand why I see my UJ always right. But the only time I'm jumping in is when I know, okay, this is a solid point. Okay. See, like you had something to say, mate, because this I nigga just that. always, he, he doesn't care. Right, wrong, indifferent. <laughs> There's a point. There isn't a point. He just wants to argue with niggas. Uh, he be trying to bait me. Like he's weird he, as he, fuck. He likes Wait, arguing no, with no, you, no, bro. No, I don't be trying to bait you. You take it as bait only when somebody else jumps in, and then they be like, "Uh, I don't know." When you get the "I don't know" from somebody else, ah, uh, it's UJ time. Now I gotta, and I be like, "All right, man." <laughs> That's it. You think I'm trying to bait you all the time, <laughs> only because. We are the two niggas that speak the most in PSN chat, in our group chat, whatever. And it just right. happens to be on I, opposite sides. Not, not in the PSN chat. I don't talk that much. You you talk. You probably talk the most. You talk the most. I don't talk that much. In the, you talk like the most voice in the group wise, chat. You're not going to hear me too much. No. Yeah. But well, I'm saying. Text. In the, in yeah. Text, text. You can text, catch me. Because niggas, niggas don't be in that chat. chat. But like, in 10 years, our group chat may or not be leaked. Don't know. If he, he, he was talking it, about some I'm weird good, bro, shit. Talking about, yo. Leaks, he, me? His hands are not clean. Yo, yeah. Listen, listen. Me? I have screenshots of conversations with this dude because he'll rarely act out of his skin. He's not clean. If the what did I do? Can... I didn't do anything. <laughs> I already know. I'm fucked. Niggas like the group chat. I'm fucked. I <laughs> like, know. UJ would just say the most randomest things in the world. Whatever's <laughs> on his mind. Like, he yeah. uses our group chat like like 2012 Twitter or some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> just throws whatever. Literally. <laughs> Literally, like, he'll get no, a no fresh shit. original thought and think that this, we need to hear this tape. Randomly, and then, and randomly. Somebody will co-sign it just because they feel the same, and now it's a full-blown conversation. Uh, no matter how crazy it is. Bro, you got to say, I'm not, a, I'm not a big social media person. Okay, but like. I'm not, I don't <laughs> talk too much to people like outside in the world. So, but like certain things gotta stay inside. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That it's is home. His, the bro. group chat. The is group his chat. Twitter. That's he my Twitter. He doesn't have Twitter for Twitter. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, <laughs> he probably, he's cooking you right now. <laughs> he's not lying, bro. Him, but he told me before he made it Twitter. He said, "This why I make it Twitter." Hit, hit me with the follow, blah, blah blah, and we compare notes. I said, "Compare notes is you. crazy." And niggas is dead. Yeah, wow. That's wow. Why yeah. That's why I'm on it. What you? What you? What you? What you, what you I got a license. Don't worry, baby. I'm certified. Be horny on Maine. <laughs> Yo, bro. Niggas is yeah, crazy, is. bro. All right, bro. All right, cuz. Let me... Let, 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 I got another thing we could talk about, bro. I have a segment we could talk about. It's called, How Would You Be As A Father? <laughs> so, I got some scenarios. <laughs> you asked the two unks right now. <laughs> like, so, I got, I, got a, I got a lot of scenarios... I want to know how you guys would portray it. Uh, All right? Whooping. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, my God. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It Whooping. Worked. Go get the belt. It worked. Go get the belt. Okay. Okay. Like that. Go First scenario. Nah, you, know, like... you walk, you know, normal night, 10 p.m. at night. You walk into your son's room. He's under the covers. You're like, what you doing, man? He's like, nah. He kicks you out the room. Clean. He's getting he's getting busy. He's first time, but you first time you caught him. Damn. What are you going to say to him? And he's all embarrassed and shit like that. You feel me? I hope, you know what I'm saying, that I'm able to have a very uh good relationship. Good relationship with my child, like uh -huh. a very open dialogue kind of thing. 
Because I'm a very honest person. Yeah. So, I'm going to cook this. <laughs> I knew you was. I knew he is, bro. Man, you man, think, you man, think, yo, I'm you not going to fry that, nigga. <laughs> but what you doing that in, bro? Uh, <laughs> hey, you got this shit? What you on, bro? Like, nah, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm going to be nervous, bro. I'm going to be, bro. <laughs> but hey, yo, you on that? You that nigga? Ah! Yo, yo, you white? Ah! <laughs> Son, I, ain't gonna hold you. I'm seeing him. It'd be what 2050 or whatever. I'm like, nigga, is that Pinky? Oh, god, yeah, what nah, are Pinky doing? crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> ain't no new, no, 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 no new folks on the block. He got some class, so I'm trying. Hey, class, <laughs> he did his homework, but he did homework. He did the written homework. Oh, he did the written extra. Back in the day. He, didn't use, he didn't use chat GPT. He bro. Oh, my god, that bro. ain't no laptop homework. He did the written. Homework. I would just try to make sure I wouldn't do, I don't want to embarrass because. Because I don't want to make him see, seem like that's the I, wrong so, thing. Uh, see, that's that's it, it is, but it is like so. I, I have to like try to catch myself. I'm trying to work on that now. Where it's like <laughs> the gel in my body is just so much, like I gotta gel off niggas. So even my son, I don't even know if I could give him a pass. Like, he cannot, you I, telling I, me, like, he you in that room, trying to beat in my house. <laughs> You in my house trying to beat you think I'm not going to, and I caught you? It's going to be times before he Come even on, catch bro. him. The, the kid, poor kid just going to have his door closed. You just like, but, you be your meeting but, there? But to be, <laughs> yes. But, but, but to be honest, I'm going to try, even if I, if he don't know I've seen him, I'm going to act like it never happened. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah. I act like it won't happen. Yeah. I think I'd lean more that way just because I'm like, eventually he going to start thinking about like having sex. This is a different conversation for me finding, because if I find a nigga condoms, that's going to be the greatest gel day of all time. <laughs> now you doing that little ass <laughs> but that's not, You don't want gel too much where they don't feel comfortable. Exactly. And then they I'm think it's wrong. It. I'm yeah. have and now they, now they start. Yeah, like I'm not going I'm not going like punish them or make them feel awkward about it. Yeah. I'm going to get my jokes off though because if my kid's anything like me, he going to have to get, he going to understand that I got to get my jokes off. And yeah, he going to understand yeah. receiving a joke and, t- and giving a joke. But yo, I know it's crazy, blah, 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 jokes, but I'm like, hey, bro, just talk to me about all this so you don't make some mistakes that I made or that type shit your uncle's shit. made. Yeah. Type so, shit but, like, you so know, like, and we're African, so I already know your dad didn't have to talk with you. Oh, hell no. The nigga just found a pack of badges. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> like, I came back from school, just found a pack of badges, and then he said, throw this up before your mother finds it. I said, <laughs> them, literally, shoved them in the backs of the suitcase, said, all right, we done here. Literally. How my dad, he just said, you're not going to clean your room. What if you have girls over? And I, that was his way of saying, like, uh, you like, good. Uh, okay, I know okay. what you're doing. But he never, nothing. I don't think my dad ever did either. My I don't mom, think I, my dad did. My mom said use protection, whatever I do. But, like, my, mom either, bro. my, my dad, my dad. He might have said something, but, like, it didn't, like, completely. like, it don't. It wasn't something where I like remember. It probably like a, like a brush off but type it, of thing. Even, but a, you feel like a, a sit down would be weird. Like a sit down, like yo. Hell this yes. is what's going I on. think it would be weird. Yeah. I have never sat down with my dad. It's not sad. We have a fine relationship, <laughs> but Word. we've never had a sit down about anything other than work, school, or working in school. What <laughs> so I like, think it is is that parents sometimes. Well, African parents, I don't really know about. So I just know about, you know what I'm saying, what goes on. Yeah. They kind of use the, if you mess up first, then I'll correct what you did. And I'll tell you how you were wrong. Yeah. So they're not going to first go in and say, hey, don't do this, or this is how you do this. They're going to let you fuck up. And then and correct then you. correct you. That's a good way of doing things. No, nah, not Let you explore certain, certain things. Certain things. <laughs> you got to tell them. <laughs> you can't. Like, everything. Bro, they can't hit you with the, like, when I was first, first learning, like, how driving when I. Mom just sat there, sitting there, put my foot on the grass a little too hard. Hey, 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 like, yeah, correction is yeah. the best teacher is not every damn not, time. Not every time. Preemptive sometimes. You got to let them know, hey, this is the warning. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. So you can guide them along the way sometimes. Sometimes you just got to let them mess up. But sometimes you got to, like, what are you doing? Relax. Say, let me, let's, let's get this ahead of time. This is, this is some good advice. There yeah. might be some fathers listening to so us. Hey, what's I the next shit. one, bro? All right, so this one, it comes with some some acting. So your son tells you he gets cheated oh, yeah, on by his girlfriend. It. So I am the son, all right? I'm be like, all right, ready? Mm-hmm. All right, so dad, I got to tell you something, man. What's that, man? Man. Wait, what kind of, wait, how old am I? How old are you? Yeah. You're, 
say you're like 40 something. 40 some. I'm like 15. That, that's why I'm going into my country area. So I'm like 16, 15, 16. All right. Yeah. All right, man, do it. Dad, I got, I got to tell you something, man. Right, What's that, Mike? You know, you know, uh, what's the face, right, girl? I've been seeing, you know, all that. Uh, we step. not. No step? Yeah, man. We not we not together no more, bro. Where? You know, uh, she cheated on me, bro. But, it, like, so how it happened was, you know, I, I didn't know where she was for, for like, a, for a couple hours. And, you know, I tried texting her and things like that. And I tried calling. I called her. Another nigga picked up. Mm. And he told me get the fuck out of here, nigga. She, she his now, bro. And I don't, I don't know what to do. First off, son, we ain't never been pussy. <laughs> so no nigga about to tell you get the fuck up out of here. Now listen here, a hoe gonna be a hoe. King country. You understand? A hoe gonna be a hoe. So hey, we ain't worried about the shouting. Well, I, I love her, dad. Hey, I love her. It's gonna the- be a lot more to love, man. You only which, what you in? 15, 14? 15? Yeah, you 15, but you got a lot of time left, man. You know how many women I done love? How do you convert you to country, too? I done loved a lot of the old, man. But what what, what if what if they weren't doing nothing? Hey, it is what it is, man. You got to gotta keep going. But as far as that nigga telling you fuck out of here, man, we ain't going for that. Go get your brothers. He's a lineman on the football Go team. Go get your brothers. Get my brothers? Go get your cousins, too. He 12. You finna handle that shit. <laughs> That's no good. Finna disrespect you, oh, That's good. Took your girl and you 15. Nah, nah, the little brother's 12. Oh, grab them niggas then. Yo, grab them. <laughs> All big, right, bro. All big, right bro. that was good. That was so good. Going, bro. That was good. All right, I, I got... Can't, I can't do mine? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. My fault, damn. I got you, I got you. All right, we're home. I got it. You ready? Uh, I'm good, yeah. Dad, I got, I got something to tell you, man. I, I've been really down lately. So, you remember that girl I've been seeing for the last couple of months? You know, she come by the house all this, nine the third. No, but I believe you. Yeah, but, you know, we're not together no more, and she cheated on me. And I heard it was pretty bad. I seen the videos. <laughs> we get it, nigga. How you go out like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, real talk, though. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You're making me look bad out here. But, hey, hey, hey. I'll let you get one because everybody get they one. But I, it, might, it might not be her, though. But niggas, like, niggas sent it to me. Like, would it be her? Do you think she could have whole tendencies? I mean, like. Has I, she texted you yet about it? No. It's her. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you is, hey, listen here. We all get at least, I'll give you at least three. Because in my life, I had more than three. But you got to do better than me. So you only get three max. Three strikes, you're out. You get three hoes that you could try and save, right? And you know, I ain't saying she a hoe. But you saying it might be looking like that way. So I'ma just chalk it up to the game and say you that's one strike, yeah? So take that one, is what it is, move on. You get two more strikes and then you guys gotta next one you got next one you bring home, that's gotta be the one. I'm not meeting none of the little hussies running around. I'm but sorry. I loved her. What if I wanna like do you think I should do try to get her back? Blood is in your vein? How many times do you see an attractive woman a day? You love them all. <laughs> <laughs> that was some shit. That was some heat. My, like all, all jokes aside, though, I would approach that situation telling, "Hey, you win some, you lose some, bro." Mm. And that's one of them situations you got fight or yo. Oh, <laughs> you got be in that bedroom taking that L. Bro, like you really gotta hurting, dug it out, be hurting. Like it's nothing that as a dad we can give you pointers, but we we can't help. You we can't, can't really help you. That's a self. Fight like that's yeah. a self bout. Take that you to, to fight the gym, go get hit up the punching bag, get deeper into your sport in your bag. Yeah, trying to and then up. just 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 you're gonna have to I'm gonna give you some albums to get you through it. And okay. some songs I know from back in the it gets you right, but like Yo. you gotta learn how to take before, it. Before before you before you you know what I'm saying go to the what was your first breakup song like that had you <laughs> like your first royal breakup, your first Cut Hold off, on. like your, Hold you know on. what I'm saying? What what had you in your Duffy? Like, what was you going through? Like, what was you, nigga? You know what what mm. goes around comes around. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I was looking, my my fist was on the glass in the window of my house. I was just, eh, like, I was, <laughs> ooh, in my in my soul. I said, bruh, this is the. I see what they be writing about, bruh. Yeah. I said, I know what this music's about now. I'm like, hey, this shit feels 
awful, bro. Ooh. Feels awful. My shit was a uh, Lloyd. It's like, hey world, yeah, I know it's been a while. <laughs> Come let you ride. Yo, there you go. What's up now? That so. Damn, that's a no album lately. So my mind been kind of up now. Damn, nah, bro. So, you know what mine was, bro. <laughs> so when I first had stopped fucking with the girl. I'm a, I'm, you know me, I'm a gangster, bro. I'm a player. So you play I'm like, DMX or something? So I'm, I'm cool. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, bro. And you see another nigga <laughs> got her hot fries at lunch. And then, <laughs> now this is 15, 16. She didn't go to school with us. Uh-huh. So now, I'm like, as the summer progressed, I'm fig hurt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt. Shit yeah. going bomb. I'm like, damn. So now I start playing. You know, you know the song, I'm Missing You by Case? I think I do. Like, oh, I, I miss see you. See you. Yo, I had that show That's rocking it. for the whole summer. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, yo, I got, it's me. It's me. It's the dawn. I had to wake myself up. Sorry. Then Future got me right. Literally, shout out to Future, bro. He got me out of that, that mom, bro. That real sisters and uh, layup. Don't fuck with bitch, you lit. Oh, like a layer. Ah. Yeah, on repeat on Spinrilla. That shit got me right, bro. Shout Spinrilla. Out yeah, shout out Future. That's how long ago it is. Damn, I forgot yeah, about Spinrilla. Thank you for supporting the pod, Future. Yeah, bro. Jesus, I have not heard of Spinrilla in so Future long. Got me right, yeah, bro. Nigga, that's why I used to listen to my fucking uh, Montana 300 and uh, Lil Dirk <laughs> on that motherfucking Spinrilla, bro. <laughs> what the, nah, all the Chirac niggas. He had the streets. He bro. had the Spinrilla up, bro. Yeah, niggas like, bro, you hear what he said, bro? Nah. You hear what he said? <laughs> that was me. Yo, I was niggas. Yo, I was niggas. Yo, I was niggas, bro. So, yo, play that shit back, bro. He just said some crazy <laughs> you shit. You ain't hear that, bro. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, hear, that, ain't hear that you shit, bro. That shit, you ain't hear that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro. <laughs> bro, bro. All right, so the next one. Something, all right, your son tells you he gets a girl pregnant at 15. <clears throat> what is your first thoughts? Nigga failed me. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Are, are you 100% sure? Like, are you sure? Because I don't said, even know if you, you, what are you producing in your body? Like, how are you already potent at 15 to be knocking girls up? Your mother's ain't ready at 13. Nigga, I know, but I'm like, bruh, he how said, are you, Dad, got, you got all that, all that, because all that horny at 15? That's, nigga, that's, that's, a, that's prime, peak, that's peak but, horny. But I'm saying, but I'm saying to be just nothing in girls have i how did i fail to not even teach you to wear a condom if you that damn horny hey like i fucked up then I mean, if you just over here you know nothing girl would you help him well i you know i do the fake ah blah, 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 but then obviously like no nah, i wish I'm, I'm keeping it being i wouldn't even be like angry or yelling you wouldn't be angry i want i want to be because i feel like i feel like she would be i don't know i don't know if she would be angry she's crashing out yeah she might oh, be angry she's crashing she out. might be Look angry so face. i gotta I gotta be the calm one. Yeah, sure. Somebody we both can't crash out. Oh yeah, no. Double it. Yeah, no, you wanna know what we talk about? Say if our son came up to us and was like, he fifteen, he's like, uh, mom, dad, I got a girl pregnant. Uh, how would you how would you react? Boom. Yeah. Say if it's a daughter, she oh! out. Ooh, that nigga. Yeah. You might crash out. I'll be mad. Daughter, I'll though. be pissed. Now, if my daughter got pregnant at fifteen, I like I gotta whoop the dad the 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 the, the niggas at dad. I gotta whoop that nigga ass. There's no but that's way, what, bro. But this is what I'm saying. So, I, situation like that, you can't even get mad. You can't bro. get mad because that's life. God, it's life who, but who am I putting hands and feet on, bro? <laughs> who am I putting hands and feet the on? Only that my, time. My, my child, my 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 diamond is pregnant. Oh no, I got. I know. Yeah, the, the daughter crazy. That make me crash out is if the nigga like man, fuck that. Man, fuck yeah, that yeah, nah, that that'll be crazy. That, now uh, I'm crashing. Now I'll be mad as hell. No, no, that's why. But like. I ain't taking care of shit. I ain't doing shit. If the nigga don't want to step up to the responsibilities, because I wouldn't even raise my son to not step up to his responsibilities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So but that was going to be one of the funniest conversations we have. I promise you. <laughs> God. Well, nigga, you did it. <laughs> See, that's why shit like that, Bruh. like a, a, for a nigga to even, to even think like that, right? That's why I want to build my army. <laughs> like... Yeah, army my, is crazy. My army, my football team, my soccer team, whatever uh, you want to call okay. it. Okay, some sort meaning of like, loots. Yeah, meaning like me, all my friends, all my cousins, all of us should have plenty of kids that's, you know what I'm saying, locked in. Yeah. So if somebody outside of the unit act up, bro, somebody set them straight. So to the point where nobody outside the unit want to even act up because, you know, they this yeah. group is all like this. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're not even blood related, you just know they cousins on that side, bro. All of them cousins. That's what I'm saying. Fish kids after yeah. you, <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Type of shit, bro. I told you hey, when we got kids. Ish, happy birthday, Ish. Yeah, yeah, shout out, Ish, bro. Happy birthday, 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 my brother. If you watching so, that shit, bro. Happy birthday, my birthday. Already happy sweet day. All right, yes, bro. Sir. I got no- so there's another scenario. So your daughter comes up to you, oh god, and she says, "Dad, I need money for a plan B." Yeah. Are you giving her the money? Yeah. 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 Oh, I bet. Like, hey, we going to give her the money? Are you going to talk to her? Serious talk. Okay. Like, you know, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I okay. can't control your decisions, but for the love of God, <laughs> please <laughs> don't kill your father. Kinda, please. I'll beg. I'll start crying. I promise you I'll start crying. Kinda, yeah, please, bro. Kinda, you know kind of please. Bro. You go You go try to send me to an early grave. Kinda, please, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You do what you want to do, but. Don't bring no. But you go give no, you go give it the bread though. No, nah, yeah, of yeah, course. Okay. But I want my kids to have they uh, have a child with. Forget, I'm not gonna say, oh, you gotta be married. I prefer it, but like, make sure you are gonna be locked in with the person. Yeah, just don't be, don't be having it with everybody. With, don't have no baby mamas or baby daddies running around. Just be locked in with the person you have having children with because that's a serious thing. Yes. co-parenting is difficult. Just be in, be locked in with who you are having kids with. Exactly. Bro. Make sure you know what you're doing. Like when you you shouldn't be nothing in no girl or letting nobody nut you that you're not ready to raise a child with and motherfuckers don't know what raising a child really is because like when the child is crying at one in the 140 in the morning you trying to sleep and you got work the next morning and now you got nobody to lock in with hey you come take care of it we got shifts niggas not thinking about that or when yeah. it's time to change some diapers or have a birthday parties or buy clothes that birthday party. diapers are expensive do all that spend all their money they say it's cost it costs tens of thousands of dollars to raise a child up to 18 bro have kids or do make those decisions with people that you're trying to be locked in with. So, Amen, that, that bro. Get, should be to the question I want to ask. How into it would y'all be when y'all girl, not your girl, y'all daughter brings a guy home? Like, how much control y'all want to have over who they date or why they date? Like, would y'all let them go out, date whoever, or y'all would be like, nah, I don't like her. I don't, I would, I would try my hardest to have a smooth balance. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to be too restricted to where eventually she's going to be like rebellious. And I don't want that. And I don't want her too freely to make her think that she could do whatever the fuck she want. Yeah. Like you always have to have a certain balance, but I would try more of the restraint. Not like you can't date till you like this, that in the age, but like, over time, we're going to teach her, like, I feel like I would try to teach my daughter how a man should be so she would go look for that man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, she won't settle for something less than yeah. what I show her. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's what I need. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's what I need. Yeah. That's exactly Cause what. Because a lot of times, niggas don't understand until it's too late that we are the example. Yeah, we are the example. Like, for everything. I feel like a lot of women don't even understand that shit. Like, when they have kids with certain caliber of niggas, like, yeah. Or y'all having kids with different niggas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, that's... That's a lot. That's crazy. Pay attention to who your example. Or you got to say, even when... Say later on you meet somebody who is who is a good example, right? Yeah. But you done already... You got a... For example, right? You got a baby daddy, right? Mm-hmm. And he don't want to be involved. Then you meet a person who's going to be a stepdaddy. But now, this is going to be a... There's a possibility of a situation where your kid is... Like pushing away because that's not his real dad. Dad. Yeah, so yeah. He, so now he going against <laughs> what could be a really good example. He want to be the opposite of bro. Yeah. Don't like bro, bro, corny to him. Ah, uh, so I know what you mean. That's not the real dad. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. A lot of people are. That is a lot of scenarios because you know, like you said, just because they're not the dad or just because they're not the mom, they don't want to be like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Even if that person is great. Doing their doing their job, being a good dad, trying their hardest. That's why I feel like you ever be seeing like the videos where like um like um the the stepdad or stepmother would be whatever would uh like ask the kid to be like their actual kid yeah. and like they'd be so emotional. Like yeah. I could understand that. I ain't gonna lie, but that shit caught me one time. I remember it was like five girls. Yeah. That shit made a nigga tear up, bro. I was like, I'm gonna turn that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn that shit off, bro. I'm a, I'm a gangster, but I can't I can't say. I get you. I get you. All right, yeah. I got another scenario. This one's kind of wild. It's getting it's getting wilder. I got two more. I got right. one more after this one. So, <laughs> your daughter, right? Your daughter has a boyfriend. They've been going on for six months. This, that, and third, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. She asks you, she's like, yo, dad, can I borrow your, your Beamer, right? You know, to go on a date with cuz, right? Who got the Beamer? 
type of shit. Yeah. She wants to because her car not works. Like, ah, right, you could use your car. You then find out. Nah. They linked in the Beamer. What are you doing? What do you mean? Like they fucked them up? Yeah, they fucked in your whip. I gotta crash out. <laughs> I gotta crash out. <laughs> now you're not respecting me. Yeah. That's wild. That's OD, yeah, bro. That's OD, bro. Like tensions was high yeah, and shit yeah, just yeah, happened. I gotta, I gotta yeah, crash yeah, out. That's yeah. wild. Because you're my daughter driving my car and you let some, some, some miscreant. Where did where did it go? In my, I'm driving this car to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought of my daughter having sex with all this crazy work. Yeah. Then on top of that, you're going to do it in my In beat. my car? Where that so shit at, bro? Now, see, now, Where do you now, do that? Now the oh. nigga don't respect. Now I feel like Cud don't respect me. Yeah, nah, that's wild. So now, now I'm going to find a, a, up, I'm a, find a, <laughs> I'm a find a condom in the, under the seat in the morning when I'm going to work. And now somebody has to go. That's wild, bro. That's OD. Not the, not the whip, bro. Bro. Not the whip, bro. That's my... Because you have your car. You messed up your car somehow. And you took mine, and you did nonsense in it, and brought it back to me. Ah, oh, that's wild, bro. Worst bro, case, just, bro. <clears throat> man, I crash out for real, bro. That would be it's od. Just double, it's just so much disrespect going on, bro. That's a lot of disrespect. She probably let her drive my car. Low key, yeah. The Beamer, <laughs> hell no. She that's od. Like that. Cause you know everybody want to be past me the princess. So yeah, she like so she's like, you know, I drive to you. You could drive. Wow. See now that's like that's like some rebellious shit. That's why I feel like I would I'm like now nah, why are you yeah, thinking of that? Driving under my insurance? Dog, bro, cuz I'm not I don't want my daughter sneak. Like I said, I'm you know me, I'm open and honest. So I don't want my daughter having to sneak behind me doing shit. I get you, bro. Me. Oh, like, you I would have just You can unplug that shit real quick and plug it back in. Or in the yeah. Home. Just to make sure. And just plug it back in, cuz. <laughs> yeah. What's the name? Hmm? Pause. Go ahead, talk oh yeah, man, that you. was crazy. Yep, yep, ah, you good? Yep, you good? Right, right. Got right. you, oh, I hope we got that one. All right, but so now the last question, right? The last question. I hope y'all was able to hear UJ, bro. We'll see. We got a lot of shit. Probably. Last one. This one might be the wildest one, right? <laughs> so, say you have a son. He is 15 years old. 15, 16, 15, 16. He's in high school, right? He comes up to you. He's like, Dad, this is my girlfriend. I'm introducing you. This, that, and third. Like, oh, how you doing? Uh, what's your name? That, and third. A week later, you realize that girl is 12. He's 16? He's 16. She's 12, 11. Like, she's in middle school. And he's like a yeah, sophomore fuck high school. no. We ain't going for it. How what did, are you doing? How did, we ain't going for it. How did I find out if I'm you don't cooking know. my son. Is like cool. cooking, like roasting? or I'm cooking his dumb ass. Like, roasting his ass. Like, nigga, what the fuck you got going on? Like, I'm... I'm frying him. You frying? You know I'm going to build a foundation where it's like where my jokes is going to hit, bro. <laughs> my jokes is going to hit because how I know is because my grandma is like that to us. Yeah. Like my grandma fry niggas up. Like yeah. if we walk in the house, bro, she has a joke. Like pre, it's, it's pre-written. She just <laughs> know what the fuck she about to cook us with. Like be watching. Like she's going to cook us. Like. So I already know how it can be. But are you you gonna you gonna stop that shit though, right? Stop it, yeah. Obviously. But you have to make a nigga feel like it's crazy. Embarrassed. You yeah. have to te- like. I might just cook cut in front of the girl. Oh yeah. yeah, you got to. And then I gotta beat him. I'm sorry. You got to. I, That's I, I, wild. I, I, you gotta, gotta show him early. I can't whoop him. Ain't nothing whoop him. All right, now what if now what if it's older now? Twenty and fifteen. That's crazy. Gross. That's twenty and fifteen. Like I'm calling that. Cops, <laughs> you going to cops with your father, bro? Uh, I mean, your your son, bro. Niggas a creep. Man, that what just made my stomach fuck? turn. That's just, that's crazy, mom? cause you yo you know I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that's very common, bro. I just, we was talking about it yesterday. I feel like what it's niggas? very common, bro. Bro, it's weird. You know how many times like niggas would pull up with their grown ass cars to a fucking into the fucking high school and the girls like, yeah, I got an older guy. I have a college guy. You're getting groomed. Groomed. Like, bro, bro groomed. that is nasty, I know bro. three girls up in my head that they had niggas picking them up in, bro. in like, real Vs. Like, You're a victim. She like, yo, oh, my nigga, he 24, he 25. That's the age we around right now. It's and crazy. Up, that's high school. Like, us like that just, girl. if that doesn't make you want to throw up in your mouth, then you just haven't been That's sick, like bro. Person. That's, the, that's, that's, that's one of the gross. sickest things you can bro, see. I'll be walking around <laughs> college campus bro, and still looking at bro. bitches like, yeah. I be kid, looking, bro. Old, like I be feeling old. If yeah. I'm, if I go back to my old camp, I feel old. I'm like, I'm not dealing with none of you people, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's that's bad, insane. bro. It's really bad. Like that's it's like, old. like if my son ever do that, bro, 
that would be I might have to be that like 2015 like like what would make you want to do because I remember I seen a, I seen another post it was like a dude and he was like it was on TikTok he was like 31 and the girl was like 19 I'm like okay like that's legal but that's still kind of weird and he was talking about some he's like you know when they're younger you can mold them to be who they who you want them to be I'm like that's crazy. That's bro. sick. Like that means that's you just how, that's how niggas really think. That's really bad though. That's crazy. Like you really just want to mold somebody. Like you can't just find somebody that's already like has their own thing, has it, what they got going in life. I was just I was I was saying that in a in a uh, chat yesterday. I said I am past the point of like thinking that relationships is build a bear. Yeah, like, you sitting there trying to help somebody, but like mold them into the person that you want them to be. Cause go find somebody who is exactly like what you want, bro. Yeah, yeah. and then y'all literally, like, you're not creating a person; you're building. Like y'all help building each other up, just like this. Y'all help climbing together. Exactly. Yeah. I ain't about to create nothing, bro. There's I'm a not difference. going. And there's a difference because I will put a girl onto all of my interests and all of the, the things that I like because I like good things. I like good music. I like good shows. I like good movies, mm-hmm. good games. Whatever. I'll put them on. I'll brainwash them to like everything I like. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Grooming. building nobody. I'm, I'm not I ain't gonna front. I'm not going for nobody. the the broken ones either. <clears throat> no, mean the broken like one. meaning like they got so much going on. This baggage. other baby daddy. We got dad drama. We got mom <laughs> drama. Family issues. I'm really not going for you it. You lost bro. me. Like I'm really not here for it. Like it's certain <laughs> things I'm just I don't want. Um, man, I ain't even about to get into it, bro. Uh, hey, we, I, we, before I crash out, we ain't right gonna now, get into. We ain't gonna get into it. All right, I got I got another scenario, but it's not oh, with the the family and shit like that. It's just a regular one. So that? say you get arrested, right, okay. for something that your man's did, Regardless. but you had nothing to do with it. Are you snitching? No, I get arrested. For, wait. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Time run back, out. Run back, run back, you run get back. arrested. Say you just don't your normal day. Okay. For something that your man's did, uh-huh. but you weren't nowhere near part of it. Okay. Nowhere near nothing about it, but they said, like, are you snitching on your on your friend? Why am I in the position to snitch if I don't know? But you I'm are doing. going to jail because they think you are a part of it. But it's something that my man's did, but they think I was a part of. But I know that I wasn't a part of, but I know they were a part of. Like, say it was like, say it's a scenario where like, let me, let me think of a scenario. Say it's like, you guys had like the same build or whatever. Okay. But you guys had like, I guess he, I guess he had, you got, the person had the mask on. Okay. So he couldn't tell who he was, but he looks like you. Like it's similar to you, but it's like, they thought it was you because of like, like who you hang out with. If that makes sense. Did I have, like, we all wear the same kind of gear and shit like that? Like, y'all are similar. Like, y'all, like, either work together, whatever, and you guys had the same uniform on, but he robbed the bank. I, I get what you mean, but either either way, right, I'm not telling. I feel like so you if, gonna if do... I'm not around there, then evidence your evidence. Like, exactly. he's going to tell you I wasn't there. Like, but, you know, sometimes snitch. niggas don't care. Of course. It's called get I a fucking snitch, lawyer. But I'd make sure that, hey. Y'all better do y'all job. I'm not the. I wasn't in there. I don't know who was there, but do your homework on where I was that night. I got okay. an alibi. What if it's a scenario where you can't even get out of it? Like you are going to prison. But prison, prison for the guys, even though you didn't I do nothing. Prison. No, I would expect niggas to. to I would ex. To but what if he don't? I would expect niggas to come up. If they, if you see me going to prison, I would I'm expect. I'm not gonna you. lie to you. Like <laughs> I'm really not gonna lie to you. I love the guys. But if you see me on full trial for <laughs> like some job, you're not my man's, bro. And you don't say, "Hey, I did this." So you'd about to just let me go. If I know you are about to just let me go, and you know that you did it, and they're about to book me for life for it, I'm sorry, I got to snitch on you. Bro. At that I'm point, not. because it's, it's, it's if you're not, if you don't know, it's a different thing. If they're just gonna mistake us, and I'm like, damn, I'm not about to just be like, oh, okay, because we were in the same place at the same time. Yada yada yada. They mistook How long us. I'm not gonna snitch on them. 25. Yeah, no. 25 years? Yeah. yeah. No. I'm not I'm it's not extremely about, unrealistic. I'm not about to I'm not about to snitch Ten. on him. But if the <laughs> nigga know if the nigga know that I'm not going mm-hmm. to if the nigga know I'm about to go to prison for something that he did and he about to just let me just go. It's crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. For I'm me, 
I'm about to tell them niggas. Any time is crazy. If you know you did it and you just gonna let me go into prison, you're yeah, not my friend. You're not really everybody, my friend. That's my thing. Yeah, everybody who that I know, like personally, that's like into stuff like that, they know that's I'm not involved in stuff like that. And exactly. they know me. They know what I get into. They know what I'm looking for. Rump. To in, <laughs> they know what I'm looking forward to in life. So they would. Everybody who I know would speak up. Okay. So, okay. I'm just making. Uh, I was just wondering, bro. But. What other shit I gotta talk about? Um, you got anything you want to talk about, bro? Yeah, we got the uh, the the basketball drawing. Ooh, yeah, let yeah, me say yeah. that to the end because at the end I got some NBA trivia we could play at the All end. Right, so we'll do that for that one. Predictions as well. Oh wait, you want predictions for the oh for the season? Yeah. All right, we'll do that at the end. We'll do that at the end. Yeah. All right. So actually, I got some shit to talk about wrestling. Cause I don't remember you said you want to talk about wrestling. Yes, I did. So oh, money in the bank it's match funny. for money in the bank match for your life. Against life. Jeff Hardy, Shawn Michaels, Rey Mysterio, and Eddie Guerrero. Mm-hmm. Are you winning? Am yes. I winning? Yes. Think about it now. You right now. Money in the bank. Money, Money in right the now. bank. They're fighting. For, are they also fighting for their lives? Yeah. I'm a little, they're fighting to win. Okay, but they're not fighting for their lives? Am we'll the we'll let them fight. fight. We'll the let only, them fight for their lives. If I'm, if, I'm no, the only, no, no. if I'm the only one fighting for my life, I'm killing so, everybody. So, uh, so I'm all going to die a grizzly. Uh, look, 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 like you're gonna. Die. I'm gonna start off the match killing all of them, and then I'm going to walk up and get the briefcase. If I'm the only one fighting for my life, we're all dying. There's no way. I'm but if we're all mean, fighting for you, our didn't life, name bro, no heavyweights. I, I did name, name the athletic niggas that jump. I will not catch them it, and snap them in half like Bane did Batman. Bro, There's I'm no way. Seventy pounds, bro. Who you, you say? Who you say? Said Jeff, Jeff Hardy, Hardy no, Shawn Michaels, no, Rey Mysterio, Eddie no. Guerrero. Ray, Ray, Ray I will grab Rey up, Mysterio and bro. throw him into Jeff Hardy. There's no way. A flying kick to your chin. Yeah, Ray, you are out. I ain't gonna lie. Ray off nigga, so I'm gonna grab. He did off about, nigga. I'm gonna grab Ray off nigga, so we gotta worry about Ray. Air, and I'm gonna throw him into somebody. There's no the way. sweet t- chin music to the chin. You not getting up from that. Like you actually him kicking you, nigga. I'm not gonna hear a nigga slamming his foot against the ring, tuning <laughs> up the band. Think, There's no way. Bro. I think I'm, I'll win. I'm whooping nigga. I'm not. But just it some, won't be whooping I'm not, though. I'm not just some I'm a heavyweight. Sneak. That's just a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. That used to be Shawn Michaels' build. Okay. Mm. Not gonna do that I'm sneaking you. niggas. You f- but, bro, Let I'm grabbing go. the hammer or um, or the steps, and I'm... Bah! There's just no way. I'm, a, not gonna I'm going me. to Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero, bro. You feel I'm me? lying. <laughs> you feel I'm me? cheating. You feel and me? I'm going to steal the victory. Yes, you going to steal it? Hey, that's what yes, I said I was going to do. Bro. Yes, that's what I said I was going to do. Have you been watching wrestling like recently? Like, what's what is AW? I've been... A W is all elite wrestling. It's yeah. like the it was it was what T N A was for us when we was young. Ah, you okay. Like, I used to like T N A. That's why I used to love T N A. I love T N A because they had us convinced that T N A was the real stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They was telling us like, yo, because it was like a little scary. It, it was, was a little yeah. scary. Like, like all the guys they had over there was doing the dangerous shit. Yeah, uh-huh. so like it was like they had perk over there. They yeah. had Perk and they had Kurt Angle going crazy. Like, they did have him going crazy. He was just going crazy. Like, every tu- every Tuesday like, night, right? It was Tuesday night or Thursday night? It was Thursday. Thursday was, night? Yeah, on Spike TV. Spike, Spike TV, TV, bro. Who all right, so who would y'all say is y'all top three? Like like wrestlers or top five wrestlers. Like favorite? My yeah, favorites. Three. Like my R V D Okay. Shawn Michaels. Okay. And who did I like? Who did I like growing up? Who did I like growing up? You give me five. You give me five. I was a big Randy Orton guy. Randy Orton. I was a big Randy Orton, Orton guy. I was a big Randy Orton guy. I don't know why I liked our truth for some reason. No, it's bro. We black, bro. I like I liked all the black dudes. I like all the black. Yeah, yeah. And Bobby Lashley. That's what I'm saying. I, black, I like bro. Donald Trump at one point yeah. because he picked uh, Bobby Lashley. Lashley. Yeah, we. Yeah. You feel me? It's understandable. And man. then um. Uh, <laughs> nah, I was gonna say Sheldon Benjamin, but nah. That's the standard. Sheldon Benjamin, not nah, Sheldon Benjamin. Sheldon Benjamin was hard, bro. Um, Nick Foley. Mick Foley. Nick Foley. Mick Nick Foley. Foley is an elite one. Nick Foley. I like Nick Foley. I like CM Punk. I Ooh, like I forgot Rey Mysterio. I like Triple H. Who else? I'm trying to think about just who I'd always want to watch on SmackDown. Cause I couldn't watch Raw because do your homework on African parents not letting you watch your TV from Monday to Friday. Hey, bro. Guinea then, was my neighbor, bro. I understood. And then, I used to sneak outside every day. <laughs> they, hey, he knows the scriptures. So <laughs> I was watching SmackDown. That's the most I watched for a while until I got older than I was just watching 
Raw. You didn't watch Raw on, on the, the Spanish channel on okay. Sundays? On so- It was only what, yeah. It was on the Spanish channel. No. That shit was in Spanish. Really, no. I watched because that shit we, twice. Uh, the family time was like on Sunday nights. We were watching uh, American Idol together. On ah, Sunday, got you. Sunday night. So I was watching. I was at Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, Triple H. In the top five. I'm trying to remember who I draft in the video games, too. Uh, You know... You know, that was there, that I was there for. I wasn't really big on Shawn Michaels, but I would tell you, I was, I don't know why, but I used to fuck with Finley heavy. Finley was hard. <laughs> I used to fuck with Finley, Finley was heavy. tough. Finley was <laughs> tough. That's, <laughs> a, that's a tough pick. Yeah, I used, to fuck, well, I used to fuck with that Finley was, heavy. What year was that? 2007? He was holding it down. Finley used to hold it down with, with Hornswoggle. Yeah. yeah. Finley used I to forgot about down. Finley. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have the. I used to have all the wrestling like, action figures. Yeah, I had the yes, Finley toy too. I had that. We had the stages. Finley put on. He was old as hell though, but he put on though. Yeah. But we had that. We had all those things. And then the fifth one. Just for the sake of the tax, because he always niggas gotta have Cena in their top five. I'm not gonna lie. Cena's not. Nigga. I love yeah, Cena. I love. Got, I hated Cena at the same I time. Don't, I hated Cena too, and especially because the whole Cena. I respect Bucks him scenario, now that I'm older. I respect I get him. It. Yeah, but Cena was just like niggas. Everything's running crazy. You got Edge. You got Randy Orton going wild. Ooh. Nobody got no structure. Nothing. Mm. Yeah. No Cena go. If he there, we got we gonna pull up with that spinner championship. Put his foot down. Be like, hey. I'm low key gonna switch Ed, Randy Orton for Edge. I like Edge, Edge more. Edge, All right, so bro. my five would be RVD, mm. yeah, Undertaker. Mm. I like, like, I love Undertaker. I did, I was scared yeah. of him when I was, I was a kid, scared. and he used yeah. to he used to fight Shawn Michaels all the time and bro. lose. I didn't like him. Him and Kane, uh-huh. bro. Triple H. Okay. Mm. Kurt Angle. Kurt ah. Uh, Kurt Angle is so tough. Bro. He I is. Used to watch wrestling as a kid. Well, that nigga used to take off the leotards, yeah, bro. bro. To this day, bro, I probably get in the ring and I know what I'm doing, bro. But um, Yo. and I say I'm dead ass too. I believe it. That's the reason why I can flip, bro. It's wrestling. I mean, yeah. I get, yeah, yeah. I get like, what you if, mean. If you look at how I jump, you jump like a wrestler. Go and jump into somebody. Say, big like boy. I don't know how to land on on my feet. <laughs> I don't know how to land on my he stomach. He learned because he used to practice on his little. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's that's evil. Bad. I, I didn't. I didn't. Land on my stomach. Man, I didn't practice the the, the high flying shits. I just Ooh. did like the the slams. And my la- my last one would be Brock Lesnar. Like really? Early on, I loved Brock. Ah, Lesnar. okay, when okay. He just okay. came out. He just—that's what I wanted to be. That strong and that dominant, that athletic. And when I seen him doing the little backflip, I was like, "Yeah, that's me." That's you. That's yeah. me, bro. He—we about the same yeah, height. Like I was like, "Yeah, I could." I never realized how big those guys were till I was like in high school. Like that's I never so realized weird. how big they were. I thought they was just like normal people. Like I didn't know they was like. NBA player heights. NBA player heights. They be like six four, like six five. Like freaking six, Undertaker, six ten. Yeah, bro. And you, you gotta think about it. He's boy. running and jumping. Yeah. Off of some shit. Yeah. Like, Who's I, got, I got a question for niggas though. Like, so when did wrestling? Like, when was it over for y'all? Like, when did how old everybody stop watching wrestling? I was because it went from a point of we in school every week. Bringing the chatting wrestlers. about this shit, bringing the wrestlers, we excited, in. bringing our wrestlers fighting with each yeah. other with the who got the new toy. Yeah, we talking about what's going on on SmackDown. We waiting what happened on the pay per view, yeah. and then it was just over. I, my, ex- I know my exact time. I remember I forgot who told me, but somebody told me. I think it was my cousin. He was like, "Yo, wrestling's not real," and he's like, "You just gotta pay attention." And I remember I was watching Monday Night Raw, and I was just looking at it. I was just watching him, and I'm watching them punch each other. I'm like, they not hitting each other. Yeah. They're just like, like. Like, they're just putting their hands up and catching it. I'm just yeah. like, nah, no way. Yeah. And I just kept watching it. And then as I realized, I'm like, yeah, this shit's not real. Damn. And it just started right. getting worse. So, I got, I got, so, all right, so you. Honestly, after I found out, right, I knew because my dad used to watch, like, WWF just for just mm-hmm. giggles back in the day. And he was like, yeah, no, it's not. Fake. We watching it for, like, because it's entertainment. Watching it for, like, the stories. And they're just doing, they're like, he said, like, they're entertainers. They're athletes. They're doing, they're just acting i'm like dang and i still watched for a bit after that and then my friend's dad i used to watch with sean his dad was, was into it too back in the day he's like yeah no they just acted but it's real it's like it's good storylines blah, blah blah and then it's they're still like performing all this stuff like it really like hurts them to do xyz so i'm like yeah i still watch it for a little bit after right but i think it was really when i started getting into watching like team sports more like i started watching basketball and soccer more and football more and pledging like 
a team and be like, yo, I'm a fan of XYZ, where I'm just like, I don't even got time to be watching. Like, these are going on, like, Friday nights, uh, Monday nights, but, like, Friday nights, Monday nights, usually, like, I got soccer practice, or I'm I'm watching, like, I'm other watching shit. highlights yeah. on, on, on YouTube, or I'm just trying to, like, get into X other shit, and then I'm just like, uh -huh. it doesn't feel like it's, uh, especially since people ain't, we not even, my friends and everybody, we're not really even into it anymore. We're all into sp our own sports and doing our own thing. I'm just like, I'm into sports. I'm into playing a game, especially Friday night. I'm playing a game with my friends yeah. instead of watching. Mm -hmm. Watching. Uh, so just like, what I know. think happened was right because it went from like like I said, literally everyone watching this shit. Yeah. So not even just me. So everybody watching this shit, and then it just cuts off. So I think around seventh, eighth grade is when everybody starts getting into girls. You start getting into team sports like yourself. You start playing sports. Yeah. You start watching. Like, it becomes cool to watch basketball. It becomes cool to watch football. Yeah, that is the time I really started liking basketball. Now you get heavy on video games. You start playing multiplayer games with the guys. Yeah, now you want to go out Friday nights. So now Friday nights, you want to go to the movies with everybody. Yeah. Friday nights, you want to go out to the skating ring. Yeah, that you is true. Go to skate 22. I ain't going to lie. When I stopped watching wrestling, that's why I started playing like Halo a lot. That's what I'm saying. You want to go out to, to, to skate 22 and things of that nature. So now... You're missing Friday Night SmackDown. Now it becomes more consistent and more consistent. And then you got the people who they told us this shit fake. So that's, now people that just like, adds on to yeah, it. Yeah, that just adds on. Then people like, I ain't watching that shit fake. Nigga, everything we watched on TV was fake. Absolutely. Yeah. I ain't seen now not nothing besides maybe sports. <laughs> that <laughs> should be sports, seeming fake bro. sometimes. Maybe sports. These but outcomes everything be wild. on TV is entertainment. So why did we let this is fake be the, you know what I'm saying? It's just because it's like we never really see, like, we never really see niggas get beat up in sports. Like, oh. like UFC wasn't really a thing, and we couldn't even watch that in the first place. Yeah. But like, UFC boxing, we didn't watch boxing like that because it was kind of boring. But it was, like, the oh, first God. thing that was, like, it felt like, it was, like, it felt like real life, like, Fiction, because everybody had a story to them, yeah. and you yeah. thought these like that was them for real. Yeah. Especially when you're kids, you naive as fuck. Like you don't really know much, yeah. no better. Yeah. So you just you see something like that. You see Undertaker scary as hell. You think that's him in real life, and you Bro, see him fighting. The glory niggas. of it, though. Like exactly. that's like it's like watching like like superheroes in real life. Mm -hmm. That's really what exactly. it was. So that's what it made exactly. niggas like you know what? this makes me figure it out. And then once you realize it's like nah, this shit type fake. That shit really like ah see, like seeing that that Bro, I didn't, that Rey Mysterio yeah. intro as a kid, bruh. See this nigga come out in a mask and he's shorter than everybody, but he's whooping Niggas ass. I'm like, yo, it's this inspirational. Is this is it the is. feeling, bro. bro I said, yo, I could go whoop some girl. What? To this day, I want to do an entrance. To this day, I want to walk in and do an entrance for WWE. Like, so when is this? Gonna, when is that gonna end? It will never end no, because, right. like, I'm a loyal nigga, bro. And them people, them people in the WWE, no matter whether you was black, white, green, yellow, up, down, left, right. They were so inspirational, like they, it don't. They, it was literally white men with long hair, inspiring my nappy headed ass to do what the hell they was doing. Hey, bro. Like it literally didn't matter what they had going on. The stories were so good, and it just seemed like they just, the good guys was being good guys, and they just inspired you, bro. Watch hey, Chris bro. Jericho put in pain. Yeah, I forgot about Chris Jericho. Damn, I love Chris, Chris Jericho, Jericho up too. There too, bro. Hey, bro. Five years from now, when we up. We gonna do a no regulars wrestling match and we are gonna have intros. But I, I told him in the bro, in the if, Izod Center. If I get if, if I'm gonna be at if no regulars, bro, like really go crazy, like like how like when no regulars really goes crazy, like how KSI up there and 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 let Logan Paul on it. I will be in the WWE. I promise you. I'm going. <laughs> I promise you. I'm going. I'm telling you, <laughs> brother, going, I can bro. be a manager. I'll be a fight. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna be there just so I could be like, yo, I did that. And you I made it. Do, uh, as a kid, I really wanted to. And now you I. You got to remember, Logan Paul did tear his ACL his first match or second match. I didn't think it wasn't standing Fuck on it. business. Fuck it. First of all, I'm not doing no. I'm there to lift. Oh, me? so you're there to throw the niggas. I'm there to throw Like, you're going to be like Shaq. I'm going to do probably one or two because I can. I'm going to do a couple high fly things. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. okay. All right, all right. All right. I got one more question, then we can start talking about the NBA. Mm -hmm. So, if you lived in the 1950s, describe your life. You want me to describe my life, like 
what angle do you want me to? Well, I mean, tell you my life. Like, do you want me to go like historically accurate how it probably would have went, or what life I'd want? How it would, how it would have went? I would tell you my life. Why would tell you my life? I'm be the most wanted nigga in the world. Cause one, I'm gonna be in the league frying them white niggas. They gonna be so bad. Well, so you talking they, about we take you right now, we drop you in 1950s? Yes, oh. I'm going to the league. Oh, okay. I'm frying all of them. They're not gonna know what get them they niggas, bro. Kill you by in three weeks. That's what, but they're not gonna catch me though. You gotta go. I'm gonna be. Game. I'm gonna be the Jackie yeah, Robinson right of right. basketball. Mm. Yeah, hey. Bill Russell was already in the league. Fuck, but that nigga was ass. He ain't never seen me before. Damn. I'm gonna hit him with the. <laughs> was he in the league in 1950 already? Maybe. No, I think I was 60. Yeah, yeah 60. probably 60. I don't think he was in the league. Nigga, I am I going to the be. They go. I'm gonna be yeah, the Jackie Robinson the of the NBA, bro. They gonna know my name, bro. Yeah, there you are half NBA, black, half exactly. Asian. That's gonna be you even better. Are going to be a Harlem Globetrotter, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know they are gonna look at me like an anomaly. You I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be like, who is this guy? Red, white, and blue ball doing the the under the. <laughs> I might be the greatest though. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I might be the greatest though. Most likely. But hey, bro, I want to talk about the NBA now, bro. Don't want to get into it, bro. Yeah. Do you want to talk about? You want to do the predictions first of the NBA season, or do you want to do the underrated list? First, um, my predictions, your predictions go quick. Predictions are quick. All right, so what are your predictions of the 2023-24 season of the NBA? Who do you uh, think? I'm a, I'm gonna just give you the awards, and you can just let me know who you think is gonna and be. And then I want to say who wins each each who gets first in each conference and who wins. Yeah, we'll do that then. Right, right, right. So who you guys think will be the MVP of the league? Shea Gilgis Alexander. That is a yo, great. When I say that this man, so. Yo, I said that he was better, like he's top five in the NBA. Yes. I literally it. said it. And I'm sitting there with with uh with Joel, Tyrone, Steve, all of them. Like I'm with I'm with the community. I'm with them. Mm. And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. No, nah, I'm not mad at it. And I'm like, yo, do y'all watch basketball? He's only gonna get better Michael Lai, He is unguardable. Unguardable. Like you can't I said, guard yo, that nigga. Like none no no defender, no nobody. If you're watching basketball. And you look at what Cuz does. He could kill you from anywhere. He, he can score when he wants. 32 and 7 assists. On and playing night. great no, defense. Play. Giddy is going to be finding him getting a triple-double. You're going to have Lou Dort locking everything up. And then you have both the J-Dubs coming off the bench or one of the other, whatever. And you have Chet for his Protecting rookie the season. Rim. Bro, he's only gonna be better. I just I don't think he will win it just because I don't think the their yeah, record would be better than enough, other yeah. niggas that could possibly win it. I, I got JT. Record I was gonna, gonna say Jason Tatum too. Yeah. I think their record is gonna be. I think they're gonna get like a top five seed in the West. If you think all so? Goes, of course, they yeah, could. I think I, I think see them at four or five. They're gonna get because they say, got it. They got into the playoffs. Was it playing or playoffs? Playing. They got into playing. There was ten. Terrible. They was playing like there was and people were injured. They were playing mid and they didn't pick up steam until like. Second half of the season when J Dub started pushing for uh for for rookie of the year yeah Bruh, they start off fresh off of that momentum with Chet they're gonna make a top five seed in the West so I got I got three picks right let me I hear got Jason Tatum okay Devin Booker I was thinking Devin Booker too or Jokic yo if Jokic wins three MVPs <laughs> yo hey bro you have to have some one uncle- number center <laughs> hey. Three MVPs. Is he top five center? Yes, nigga. He's top five right now. Oh, right now. Oh, okay. I ain't mad at it. Who's he? Who's he? Who is he behind? He's behind Kareem. Wilt. He's behind Wilt. Shaq. He's behind Shaq. Hakeem. He's behind Hakeem. Okay. And then I'm not a, jacking it. He, Hakeem has defensive player of the year. That would be something. Nah, but he can't play not. defense though. That means something, bro. He and he got two of them bro. things. And he got uh, what was Hakeem almost had a clean he slate. Got, he got everything except what being the Best player on this team being a center and mopping the floor with every other center. Turner, that's league. a fact. That's like there was no, though. there was no. You know how Jokic had the game against uh, MB where MB won and put up like forty on them. And no, niggas be killing Jokic though. Yeah, yeah no, he don't, he don't. Nobody guard. was killing. Yeah. Hakeem was killing everybody with the best footwork we ever seen and was locking everything up. But Bro, I mean, that I'm nigga won. Respect, e- he won every se- every seasonal award except. Scoring most title, improved. yeah, most improved. Oh no, it was a scoring title because he was all by like point two points. He averaged like thirty something. The other nigga averaged like thirty one. Same with block. He's the most right. complete center there's probably ever been. Give it five six years, 
Jokic. Now we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can see. Give it time. I can no, see. It. He's in that top. Uh, that I can. Top t- I can level. I'm, I'm rallying right I can now. see. He's I can see. He's in that top level. He's in that top All right. level. So who you all think is gonna be the defensive player of the year? Defensive player of the year. That would be tricky because you never know. It can yeah, be you anybody. Never know what Honestly, I'm because go. I think that his offensive, like his offensive responsibilities are gonna shrink playing against the Dame. I think that he's going to have more first freedom. That came in my he's going to have more bad. freedom to be more dynamic on defense. I think between him and Brook Lopez, because Brook Lopez was close. Yeah, because yeah, he was like I what think, second? Yeah, Third? I think he might. I think it might be between them two. I think it really I'm not mad at that. Be between them two. Yeah, I could, I could take that. I like, I like Giannis. Drew, Giannis. Because Drew finally Drew. moved to Boston. I think they give him a, a look. But he I think they'll win, but I think they'll give him a look. Now. Boston got a lot of perimeter defense, so the load is off yeah. Drew. So yeah. I, I don't yeah. think Drew's winning. Yeah. All right. How about most improved player? Listen. I ain't going to lie. Who you going to bet? Who you going to say? Between, I say they're going to, it's going to, because I really feel like he's going to make the leap to all-star this year. It's going to be between Giddy. I like Giddy. Between Keegan Murray. Keegan, Keegan Murray? Murray. I like Keegan Murray was already killing. Yeah, but, but he said he can make another jump, have, though. Because he he's jump. now have, like, like, hey, we set the whole table around you. This is a team that should be a top three team in the West if we're all at full power. You have to be our starting small forward, and you have to fill in the last. Piece. So he could go from twelve to like what nineteen twenty? No, I, I, if twelve to seventeen, the most seventeen, the most. They move the ball. Wild. Like I feel like if if yeah, because you know, they don't have a traditional like. Hey, this is our playmaker that's gonna give up their own looks because De'Aaron Fox is not gonna give up his own looks to for Kenneth to get up to nineteen and now there's some bonus. So I feel like he get up to like a seventeen. Who I think it might be is the nigga from Orlando, Anthony Black. No, no Franz. He's, a, he's a Franz Wagner. Wagner. That nigga he, no, 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 is no, no. gonna go stupid. The stu- reason I'm, why I say no yeah, is because he's already a twenty point per game scorer. No, he's not. He averaged what like seventeen, eighteen. He was in twenty. Wow, like nineteen, bro. That's like nineteen. I think he could average like twenty four or twenty five. He's a hooper. I think hooper. he could average twenty four or twenty five, bro. Bro, he is. A he was nigga. killing overseas, bro. I feel like he could average twenty four or twenty five, bro. He's Easy. A hooper, bro. Fraun, Easy, bro. If he could get his three point percent to elite, like his the shit was he at like 18. Thir- eighteen. If he could, I think he can get twenty four or twenty five. But if he can get his three point from like thirty four to like forty, yeah. that's an extra like six eight points on every game, bro. Anthony Black by the help with that. Yeah, because nice. most improved, I'm gonna say that that's. I feel like that's that's like you just never know. Yeah, yeah. but a sleeper. Well, I'm just throw a sleeper pick in there. Malik Monk. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. Just so you just. They, but you you never know who's gonna improve. Like, okay. I got another one sleeper. Jabari Parker Jr. No, not Jabari Parker. Jabari, Jabari, Jabari Smith. Jabari Smith, Smith Jr. Jr. I was Jabari thinking about him too. He was actually he's doing really well. I go. I'm a rebounder ha- and a great. Scorer. One more Peyton Pritchard. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I Pay hope. Is on, yeah, Payne Pritchard is another one. I, think. I hope he got he got because he got out his opportunity. He, got, he got his role now. So now he got to do get, something. I will debate niggas saying that the Celtics are ass, even though I love them niggas, bro. I the just Celtics think are stacked. I just think I you're saying that not to jinx it, and I respect it. No, partially yes, but partially just because, bro. In my life, I don't know if I ever seen the Celtics without a designated like. This is our big man. Like, not some tweener that is older like Al Horford. Not some dude that's injury prone like Chris Stobbs. Not some dude that'll rotate in and out off of injury because of XYZ. Not like uh, Luke Cornett. I'm talking about, I don't know if I've ever seen this without a big that's our big. But you got to remember, the game has changed, though. But, yeah, yeah they got, but we first also of all, they are got... playing in the Giannis and Embiid East. No, I'm like, not, you got to protect that, the cup. You could... St- I'm telling you, you could the way that not to cut you off. No, but you the way that they line up is, is they have someone who can be your big man, and they have someone who could be your tweener. But what's gonna happen when Al obviously can't play as long because he's older, mm-hmm. and Chris stops? Like I don't wish injury upon anybody, but looking at the history of his seasons, I hope he's fully healthy because I want us to win a championship. Yeah, but the history says, and with how physical the East is, particularly our division. The people we got to see multiple, multiple times a season. Like sometimes they might even some just, games last year. That was the first time in his career, other than one other time he's played sixty. He's gotten to sixty. So mm-hmm. like, and he's been in the league for a while. Now. But you got to. So like, but he is also now the third option. So he's not really doing too much. Yeah, but his, that's why he was able to play. So like, his oh. his like he doesn't have to do too much on offense. He's gonna be an all star too. Defense, he's got to do a lot. 
because when we need one person to protect the cup, it's going to be him. He was, he top, five. Five. He was top five in blocks. He could be like AD. He was, but I'm not talking about his avail- I'm not talking about his ability on court. I'm just talking about his availability. Will he be? My opinion completely changes of this team if he's around in May. If it's May, June, and he's still healthy and around, I believe we could do it. I think but he'll be I just straight. don't know if he can, if he can hold up because he's only gotten older. And he's yeah. had the injury problem since he got in the league because you're a Knicks fan. You lived it. So he like, tore his ACL. It yeah. happens. And he's a big man. Like you can't be having these knee down issues. But he got he's in good shape skin. now though. That's what he like if you look at him now yeah. till back then, he well, got him really fit, well, bro. And I it's like, yeah, look, like honestly, it. he can protect the rim like A D does. Like A D don't guard the best big. He just roam around and he just play help. Mm-hmm. And that's partially because of coaching. I also think that Joe Mazzula is a buzzword and is just a, he's a bot. Like he's, he's, hey. he's, I don't even know how to, he's, he's an AI. He's not a real person. Like he's, what, what, what word am I looking for? Like mid. Like, no, no, no. Oh. Like, like someone that's just not basic. He's an NPC. He's basic. He's an yeah. NPC. Joe Mazzula is an NPC. Like he's like, basic. A non-playable uh, character. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be like, you know how you be playing missions in video games and you have that one mission where you have to protect the old dude getting all the way from one side of the map to yeah. another and there's a bunch of people fucking attacking and he's moving at one slow pace saying these stupid comments and he's not doing it. <laughs> That's what Joe Mazzula is to me in real life. Like, he's not a real person. I feel like he hasn't done, he hasn't had the opportunity to really, for me to give a real opinion of him. He's like, just kind of thrown in a situation. I so. don't think he's, the, like, this is the season he'd have to establish that though because I didn't see him, like, he just going for the ride last season. He was just watching, like, well, like, I'm saying, what do you expect, though? Like, I just... He got thrown on, on to be the replacement for one of the best coaches in the NBA. Like, I just think y'all have a great situation to where y'all got two players that was in all defense, and then you got two niggas that could not only score 25-plus, but could guard niggas. Three and niggas. Three niggas. But, and you got, you got niggas that could protect the rim. That's good enough. I see Giannis Antetokounmpo... And Damian Lillard on the same team in our conference. I know, but look, think about it, right? There's no but to two niggas that can average 30 and 6 on the same night and play defense to cover the one guard. They both have, like I told you in the message, they both got 30. That's 60 points. If you cut everybody else off and you score 80, 90, you're up by 30. Chris Middleton is on the Chris Middleton be up and down. There is no player, and I'm not joking, look it up for yourself. There is no player in NBA history, the history of the league, that averages more points against one team than Chris Middleton does against the Boston Celtics. See, there is no player that switches it on. No, like this is years. He's been in the league for years. There is this is not just one game. He played had thirty. Ah, he has that. No, he has played for years against the Celtics. And he is the Celtic killer every time. But that's so what I'm saying. Those three dudes and then rim protection. I'm going to let you go right after this. And then the three from Brooke. I don't know if we go, if we can do. That's the only, that's the main obstacle I see in the East is them dudes. Had it not been that Dame went there, cool. But like, see, Dame is killing Drew Holiday, bro. See, what I learned, right? It's like a nigga is going to go off. Regardless, whoever you throw at him, let him go off. You just got to stop everybody else. If Giannis going to go off, okay, fine. Make sure Dame don't go off. He, Giannis going to have 30, okay. Just make sure other niggas not going to have 30. You guys have enough niggas to guard everybody else. One through five. The Nets tried that against Shaq and Kobe in 2000. But who was guarding Shaq? Kenyon Martin? Who's guarding Giannis? Nigga, Tingus Cri- Pingus? he could guard him better than fucking Kenya Martin and Shaq, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If Al Horford was younger, he had a few games. Yes, <laughs> yo, yo, Al Horford had a few stop. games he's though. Stop. He's last season. He's still the Embiid stop. Yeah, he, he had clamping. a few games where he, he be, was on a. He be ass. clamping. He just yeah, need he great team the, defense, he bro. The, he was Al Horford got two games where he can handle Giannis. Bro, I promise. Then you. it's over. And then he'll so. have the other games. You, you, he just gonna have to hit three threes. He's <laughs> oh, just gonna have to burn yeah. from downtown. We don't got no Grant Williams where we can. Hey, this thing gonna randomly hit eight well, threes. We don't need. Uh, I don't think we need it. But I'm saying Jordan Walsh have pretty a three and D dude who's just gonna randomly hit. They are gonna leave him open. He gonna hit eight threes yeah, to do. end the we series. We got um. 
go oh. hit eight threes in the eight conference threes, finals. No, 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 that nigga no. Grant Williams took us to the promised My land. My man from the Pacers that just came over. I can't uh, think uh, O'Shea Brissett. O'Shea Brissett. And I love good. O'Shea Brissett. Yeah. But damn, Grant had the feeling, bro. He, I feel like he was a part of the glue, like Marcus Smart. Like, this is a unit. Like, this is a team chemistry. This is... But now we just a bunch of teams. This is like a this is like a it's like a a my era's team in two K where you just all right let's see but who you get gotta, in the trade five. Y'all got y'all got the best niggas that just plug in and play. Y'all don't got to worry about them. Don't have the you don't got to worry have, about Drew for have doing nothing. Niggas that could guard the the guards can besides Peyton Pritchard the guards can guard one two three. No. Uh-huh. So Devin White could guard, was Derek White could guard one two three. He guard one two yeah. three. Drew Hardy, Drew Hardy, one two three four, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> possibly. Drew, one yeah. two three, a little bit of four. Jalen Brown, four. one through four. Yeah. Jason Tatum, one through four. Yeah. Porzingis, three. Nah, nah, he's not gonna be out there. Four, four five. through five. Four, five, yeah. four through five. Like yeah. y'all, is it's enough. Team I defense. I see Al guard the point guard. So Al guard one four five. I seen them shooting <laughs> the old man them. around Curry. Yeah. They made him go guard that yeah. in hey, the finals. Bro. They'll never atone for that. But I don't know. Hopefully we figure it out. But I just don't. I don't believe yet. Like, niggas know how I get when I believe in this damn team. I went to Boston for these niggas for the finals, bro. I pro- I've i seen, I said, yo, we about to win it all. I went to Boston for two games. We won one of them. I said, I thought we was going to wrap it up, win it there. But, you know, but if I believe in these, if I really think, like, yo, they showing me, like, when JB said, yo, the energy's going to shift, and the energy actually shifted, and we went on that insane run into the playoffs and went crazy, I said, yo, I'm going to Boston. I went there and like I was standing in front of the guard and these niggas was playing. I said, This gotta be the year. It wasn't the year. I said, I, I can't get you. do it. I, I can't I, after that heartbreak. I we're said, coming bro, up, we're coming out of the East though. I, get I said, you. I, I can't but I can't believe the same anymore. All right, all right. And then I mean this niggas gonna beat the Suns. We'll see, we'll see. You know what Bulls doing to Chris Dobbs? <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'll do what he sees seven two. <laughs> I don't believe, by the way. <laughs> No comment, bro. We'll what see. We'll see. So, who y'all think the sixth man of the year is going to be? I think that's the last one. No, nah, there's also the clutch player cool. of the year. The nah, I ain't doing that weird shit. Yeah. I don't yeah. fuck. <laughs> niggas, niggas don't, don't like evolution, bro. Niggas be fucking it. Niggas don't like evolution. Who won clutch player of the year last year? Was it De'Aaron Fox? De'Aaron Fox, but I think it's going to be Shea this year because Shea be getting busy in the in the last game. Okay. But, uh... Uh, and Coach Deer is probably gonna, it's usually the best record. That's probably or the something crazy, but Coach Deer is probably gonna be fucking. I don't know, Tyron Lee. Fuck it, I don't care. But uh, Mo, six, six man, man in the year. year. I don't know who, who's I'm sitting. Who is, I'm gonna go with my man Emmanuel quickly, bro. On the Knicks, he's gonna get this. Shout. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't have a six man. Emmanuel, because I don't. I don't know lineups. Everybody still. Fit. So many teams are brand new that everybody's still figuring out. Well, but y'all, let me see. <laughs> but, so I don't, I don't oh, know. I forgot rookie of the year. Who you going? Oh, come on. But uh, Chet. I, I think Chet could win it. I think Chet's going to win it. School? The school you know could win it also. Sleeper, but the, but I just think Chet half could. Half of the battle is having the media on your side. Nobody is. But like, winning. first of all, you got to play a certain amount of games now. Like, yeah. There is a rule. He yeah. has to play 60 games. So does everybody else. The school already came off an injury. I think as an NBA player. I think Chet has a strong case because his team's gonna be pretty good too. Good, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So but uh Melo won rookie of the month every month in his but, rookie year. But there and was LeBron I know had his power. So I think it's gonna be like that scoot. No, Wemby, they're in the same conference. They're gonna give it Wemby, 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 and probably what East Brandon Miller is gonna be Wemby because the proper you seen the video of him. I said I said it's a nigga. Him throwing the ball between the niggas' legs and coming up. I ain't gonna lie, he he does look like the two K nigga. Said, I called this, this out two years ago. This said, is the next this is generation. Disgust- like he dribbled between the nigga leg. He's seven foot four, and then threw the pass by. He he. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna the bean. That nigga uh, carried, but it's all good though. Who carried? When he got the ball back, he he bring that bitch here. I okay. mean, you can't he can't tell though. He's already yeah. getting vet calls mm. as a rookie. Nah, he yeah, getting he that, that, that award. That up. award is mm. that award is mm. already. I'm like, oh, it's over. I, don't don't know. I was driving. I was driving the car thinking about. It. I was like, yo, if they let him carry, bro, at seven gonna, four, let him dribble like KD. He's bro, going wherever, he bro. Wants to go. Whatever he wants, he did the step Scary back world, video. Bro. He looking like you looking like you looking like Choco on on rec. He did a yeah, step back. I said, say say this is real. They let him. Grab the ball like bro. they don't notice him grabbing the ball. Like palming it, like palming it while he's doing move. Oh, bro. He like bro. why be cheating like a motherfucker? Oh yeah, bro. nigga, what? Oh, yeah. Michael Jordan did the same shit, yeah. color. Yeah, but he bald. That's different. All right, so anyway, 
You said so nope. who's gonna win each conference or whatever. Yeah, we go things gonna win the the East. I hope the Celtics. But I think the Celtics. I think the Bucks, but I hope the Celtics. Okay, what do you think, UJ? I think the Celtics. I think the Celtics win the East. The Bucks could fuck around and do it. Seventy six is gonna be third regardless. Third, third three, maybe fourth. Third, three, four, regardless. Four, possibly five. Uh, West, I think that I watched the Suns play, and the Suns looks offense. It looks like this. Ugh. It's because they got so the third beautiful. best defender guarding Bradley Beal, who averaged thirty points a night. It's not even that. It's like they, the way that their offense is looking is like it doesn't matter who's guarding who. So Maybe they're man. moving the ball so well, and one dribble, two dribble. Oh, one dribble, two dribble what? shot. I ain't gonna like, lie, Katie don't win so nothing. Good. It's going to look really bad on his resume. Katie don't win shit now. Yeah, but, bro, this, it, but watch them play. And you're like, yo, who's stopping that? Yeah, but my, I think I think it matters when it comes to matchups at some point because you have three of the best scorers we've ever seen mm-hmm. in our lifetime and some poor, sorry sap, some third best defender on the team is going to have to guard either Kevin Durant or Devin Booker or Bradley Beal, three dudes that have averaged mm-hmm. 30 points in the league. Grayson Allen. It's going to be a sleeper for niggas this year. Mm. I'm telling y'all niggas right now. I, 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 I've Grayson been a Grayson Allen. guy since since Duke. Just wait. I've been a Grayson the, guy the, since Duke. The, the way that he's stepping, I'm looking at him play, mm-hmm. it's over. Big stepper. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm it's over. I'm rolling. So and I'm not even a fan of him. I just looked at I just could tell. I the get West, you. Are we doing the West? Yeah. Who do you think is coming out the West? Who do you think? <sighs> I got Clippers. Nah, I don't or, know about the Clippers. Clippers healthy. Mm. They, all right, here's what's gonna happen with the Clippers. That has been the, the Clippers buzzer. are gonna start the year off if they're all healthy, top three in the NBA. Buzzsaw, PG time. is the Paul is the Paul George is the Tracy McGrady of our generation. Damn, I'm jacking it. He is the Tracy McGrady of our it. generation. Damn. They got us. I'm jacking it. So we're we gonna we're gonna be talking to our kids about some. You need to watch some Paul George, George highlights. Yeah. He played like 20 games. Shut up, Dad. Like that's gonna be that's gonna suck. Yeah, that, he really is. Uh, it's going to be, I, I got Phoenix just taking it. I say Phoenix. Phoenix. I'll say Phoenix or Phoenix the Lakers. Phoenix is number two, but the Denver, Denver, Denver Nuggets are. Oh, Denver. Denver. Oh, Denver shit. Goal. I forgot. I think Denver going. I Denver's think Bruce gonna Brown Denver. leaving is going to make a huge difference, but I think Christian Brown is going to step into that spot. Yeah, I think they got a lot of good young guys. I think that, I think that Nuggets are going to, like, I, I think th- it's going to be, because Nuggets are amazing. Nuggets, right Lakers, team. Suns. I think those three. This guy said mm-hmm. Lakers. I don't want to, I don't like counting out Brown, bro. I do, but uh, <laughs> I was, nah, LeBron, they gonna be like the fourth seed just because these they're gonna be they're playing the Suns like what do they play them four times, three, four times a year, three, four. They gonna have to play the the Nuggets a bunch probably somewhere. They got to play the Kings. They got I don't think you can't your power forward can't be playing against those teams. Can't be Jared, can't be Jared Vanderbilt because you got you you, you everybody got to be able to get buckets to win those games. Bro. I get you, I get you. He lock up, but there's just no way that. You're going to have people that can't go get you a bucket against these dudes that are. What are you going to do when KD is going stupid? And then Booker's and they all get hot at the same time. And the only reason Vanderbilt's on the floor is because he can semi slow down one of them. I just feel like no buckets on with shit like transition. With shit like that, bro, you just got to try to make sure. At least with what I've been told. You got like niggas that score one on one, you got to make them score one on one. You can't let them get in rhythm. Like oh, you can't yeah. let them just. Shoot off the catch, shoot off the one dribble. You gotta let them clock wind down three, two, and then shoot some shit. Bro, I f- the Suns team is so good that I'm like, oh, how are they going to spread their rotation? Like, they just have so many. That nigga Bo that not gonna fit. play. Like, I'm, it's looking like Bo's not gonna play. I tried to tell but you, he ain't not gonna play because if he was gonna play up until they made that trade for Nurkic. Nurkic is. Yeah, I, I was trying to. I said, yo. The best case scenario for him to get the most minutes and people to really see, hey, this guy can be a guy because he was drafted high from Oregon. I said, yo, he would have to be somehow they get rid of Aiton, don't really get, they get like a wing back, and then he'd be the, either the starting center or the backup center because the four minutes or the three minutes are going to be spread amongst dudes who can guard one to three and can shoot the three. So it's going to be they rough gonna, for him to get in unless they gonna he's the backup center. They're going to beat teams by 50, but he playing, bro. If he plays, <laughs> I really want him to be the backup center because that's when we get the most minutes. Because if Nurkic, Nurkic be getting injured, he can't stay healthy for too long. So if he's the First backup center, he's going to play Nurkic a lot. Is, he, huh. He, huh. But I'm he playing to, with them three? Bro. I'm he said he enjoying himself out there, bro. And Nurkic <laughs> be shooting the ball, bro. Yeah. Nurkic be shooting the ball. Now anyways, though. 
Yeah. You guys want to get to the top underrated NBA players. So yes, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go in order. So I'll go first, second, third, and then we're just going to go around. So we got seven. Y'all let us know who over whooping with they list and who whooping with they list. Okay. So for my first overall pick for a top and underrated NBA players, I'm going with Monte Ellis. Oh, that's a tough one. Going with Monte Ellis. Hey. <laughs> hey, that's a tough he one. was my like one that. of my favorite like players that. growing up. That. I used to watch Monte Ellis highlights all the is time. That where you got passion mode from? Yep. <laughs> Yo, that nigga used Monte to dip his hands Ellis in was... wax before the games, mm-hmm. so his hands don't got little grip to it. Mm-hmm. I seen him do it. I was like, I wish I could do that. Yeah, I go next. Yeah, go ahead. My first pick is gonna be Jermaine O'Neal. I That's a good one. Add him that was a good one. Actually, he's on my list. Let me That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, let me replace him really quick. All right, my first overall pick. Just because I feel like people will get him first before me, Jason Richardson. I oh, wasn't even thinking yeah, about that was it. Tough. That was my Jay next Rich. one. Yep, I knew. So wasn't I even was thinking about one. that. Get you know Jay what? Rich I fucked up because I sent him a list of niggas uh, like a couple of weeks ago. So I know he went back to the. No, NBA. I did not go back to that. Last <laughs> time. I promise <laughs> you, I did not go back. To all right, that. I all tried right. To nobody off of that, but let me make sure I don't got nobody on there. I'll delete them. My back next back. player is probably my favorite player, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas is not mm. underrated. He is underrated. Not a lot of kids know about Gilbert Arenas. They don't know he scored sixty against Kobe. Niggas I don't think know that. Gilbert Arenas is rated just. No, he's not because he's just rated because he's in the media and he has a podcast. If niggas didn't, if he didn't have a podcast, he didn't speak at all. Niggas would not know who Gilbert Arenas is, bro. Niggas would not okay, that, know. That's that's okay. That's okay you didn't take. give me Jason Richardson. He was not on the list. Okay, that's that's a tough take. That's a tough take. That's a tough take. Go ahead. Number two, I got Baron Davis. B Diddy. Baron Davis. That is a good one, also. B Damn. Diddy. That's a oh, good yeah, one. That's one of my favorite players, bro. Okay. You got one, Tom? Okay. Next, I got just a bucket. I got OJ Mayo. That's not bad. OJ's not bad. OJ's, OJ's not, not bad. bad. OJ's not bad. I like OJ's that one. not bad, bro. All right, I'm going to go with his teammate, Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is tough. Rudy, Rudy Gay is tough, bro. Rudy averaged Gay. 20 points a game in a lot of seasons, but never yeah. was an all-star. He was going crazy on the Raptors. The Kings, Only the Grizzlies. And if you play 2K, you know why, bro. If you, yo, <laughs> yo, the Raptors, I don't know what year that was. With him, Kyle Lowry, and DeMar DeRozan, 20, that was the greatest team in 2013? ever. 2013? Maybe 2015. That was the greatest team ever. 13. It 13? 13. It might have been somewhere that. Or even him on the Kings when it was Rondo, him. Every year I was on oh, my career. Boogie. Boogie. Cousins, I was always on. <laughs> whatever team Rudy Gay was on, I was on that nigga team, bro. No, I'm joking. I'm I was joking on that nigga that. team, bro. All right, so I got another one. I got... So a lot of niggas like our age thought he was mid because mm. they saw him at the end of his career. Mm. But Jawan Howard. Yeah, Jawan Howard. I heard he was nice. Jawan oh, you know. Yeah, fab five, Jawan. Dumb, yeah. Nice. I forgot. Yeah, dumb fab nice. Five. But I, I am one of niggas that thought he was saw, mid. We <laughs> saw him, right? yeah, we Miami, saw him Miami. sitting in the, on the corner old as hell. But he really was a bucket. Like I've been knowing about him Son. since I was like four years old. Okay, okay. That was a that's a good one. Okay. I got, let me, I got, cause let me, I got here. My guy, one of my favorite players growing up, always picked him in 2K for no reason, just because of like, oh, what, oh, what? No, my Jay Rich, he took that shit hurt. One of my favorite, one of my favorite dudes, and one of my favorite players, just injuries derailed it. Indiana Pacer, my guy Danny Granger, bro. Ah, uh, that's a good pick. Danny. That's a good pick. Boy, that's a good pick. Decent, I like Danny Granger. All right. Danny Granger. I'm going to pick somebody that niggas don't even know he was nice because he don't look nice. <laughs> that nigga Jerry Stackhouse Damn, was old. Jerry he Stackhouse shit. was averaging stack. 30. No. Stack. Jerry he Stackhouse was shit. averaging 30, no, bro. No, he, he took my shit. Jerry right. Stackhouse so was averaging 30, stack. bro. He took my shit. That nigga. All right, boom. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, he took my shit. <laughs> I got, I got one that I don't want to drop yet, but I feel like he's not on y'all list, so I think I should be good. I'm going to go with Michael Finley. Mm. I like Michael Finley. Michael Finley. I like Michael Finley. Finley. I like Michael Finley. Michael Finley. I like Michael Finley. Okay. 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 My next one, because I'm, I'm editing as niggas. Nah, high key. You know what I mean? That. I'm going to the next one, safe one, 
In his recent memory, I'm surprised. I'm happy folks, folks ain't getting me at my dog, former Celtic, Avery Bradley. That's a, Avery Bradley is a tough one. Strapping like, that's a, everything. You know what I'm it, saying? Threes, I'm jacking that. I'm hung definitely his jacking hat that. on strapping everybody. Okay. I'm everywhere. jacking Okay. That. International like that. clamp. Okay. Bro. I'm going to go. Like now, this player, nigga could have been one. Of, Please don't take my player, bro. I'm going with Jeff Green. Jeff Green. Jeff Green is, on oh, the th- – Niggas don't know. He came in with KD. He came in. When he was on the Celtics, he was OD. Jacking Jeff Green up. was OD, bro. He's still OD. Oh, niggas still be banging on niggas. Bro. Jeff Green on 2K. That nigga looked him, – Him and Rudy Gay had one of the best jump shots. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Green. Easily. That shit was real. Jeff Green, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm at, I'm at four. Uh, this, this, is five. four. this is five. This is five. No, this is four. Oh no! This is your fifth. Because yeah, I got our fifth. This is our fifth. This is your, you're fifth. On your fifth. You're on your fifth. You're on your fifth right now. All right. I'm gonna go with Antoine Jameson. Damn, that's a good one. Antoine Jameson. That's a good like, one. I like Antoine Jameson. Real like bucket. I like. I used to play NBA Live 04, bro. I used to like Antoine Jameson when he was on like the Cavs or some yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah, that's Antoine a good one. Jameson. That's a good one. Okay. Ah, damn. Okay. I'm actually okay. sad I didn't pick him. Okay. I don't even think about him. Okay. I'm mad as fuck. Okay. I like Antoine Jameson. I'm mad when he was on the Wizards too. Yeah. Oh, that I'm pissed. Kill him, man. I was mad. I'm that actually was mad. Kill him, man. I'm actually mad. Like, what? I'm actually pissed. You're bugging. What? Nigga, Tom the Wizards? St- Tom's stressing Tom's over there. Tom's stressing. I was <laughs> 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 He didn't know he was going in the bag. That's why. Nah, I'm going uh, stupid right now. I'm actually yeah, going stupid right now. Yeah, niggas is going insane. Hold on. Let me make sure. All right. Throw the next one out. I'll give niggas just for the feeling. For the feeling. Hold on. Gerald Green. Okay, he's under. I mean, he's not. He's like I think not. He's boomer. I think, but because he didn't really do nothing, it was a highlight to yeah. me. I know he's I'm tough. Going off the high. He's tough, but he's. I'm a highlight. going off the highs, bro. I'm going off the highs. Okay, that was my thing. All right, so this is number six. Yeah, we could low key go to ten. I got a lot. That's what I said. Yeah. Could, and I said that to you. You said we rallied. but I said we just go name, name, name. We, we can see. Fun. We'll see if I can make this into a clip. How long? Well, I'll figure it out. Word. All right, so my number six. I got the niggas that he's the he's in between Kyrie and I I and our side. I'll give uh Rod Damn. Rod Strickland, Rod bro. Strickland's that that nigga one. was OD. Rod Strickland's a tough one. You that nigga is the old end post. Kyrie, bro. That nigga's the handles was crazy, bro. I used See, to do the drills he used to I do. I got one on here that y'all probably don't even know, bro. Okay. This how let me show y'all how long I've been watching basketball. And I'm really a basketball vet. Josh Howard. Josh oh, Howard. Oh. You're talking about that one. Josh. I know you're talking about. I know. Josh Howard. From the Mavs? From the Mavs. Oh. Yes, I know. Josh I know. Howard from the Mavs. I like, I got scared. That nigga was tough. I got scared. Josh <laughs> Howard from the Mavs. I got scared because you took. You said, you said, you said Josh. Oh, I already know who you're going with. I know who you're going with. Give me Josh Smith. Josh baby. Smith. I know okay. you're going with. Smith, baby. I don't feel Josh like Smith. underrated. Like, I Give feel like Josh Smith. he Niggas did. Made he had the proper a respect. Walking meme. Because his team went on historic winning streak as soon as he got Left. traded, <laughs> and then they became the first seed, and Kyle yeah, that is true. became an all star. All star, yeah, year. that is true. That's how good them niggas play without Josh Smith, bro. Okay, okay, that's true. That is true. I, I could, I could. All right, and all it right. Was a meme. They said, "How did you hold back the team from an extra like thirty wins?" Nah. All right, okay. He was nice. Niggas is going crazy now. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go niggas that pro- niggas be forgetting he was nice. I'm going Michael Red. Michael Red. Michael is Red, tough. lefty OD. Yeah, he was on Michael the Team Red USA team. Michael Red. Is he tough. was on that Team USA team. Michael Red. So I got since we since we doing Team USA guy. I think that was seven. I'm gonna go. Nah, I just did five. So I said no, that was because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm at seven. You, this is your seventh pick right now. So I didn't just do. I'm at one, two, three, four, five. This I'm supposed to be on my six. Yeah, no, we on six, six, bro. You can't. How the hell are you bro? on six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just five, did my six, fifth. Seven. I said Jason Who Richardson, you? OJ Mayo, Danny Granger, Avery Bradley, Gerald Green, Josh Smith. That's six. Yeah, now you're gonna pick your seventh. Oh, we're going into seven. He I'm just counted six. Seven. I can't. I'm bad. Oh, at count how many people you have. I put a little check mark next to each one. Antoine James was the last person I just did. Yeah. Oh, I got somebody here. Twice. Okay. Like I counted number twice. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna go with because I want to say a name, but I hope y'all don't take it. 
Uh, Kevin Johnson. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Kevin from the Johnson. Suns? Okay. Yes, he Kevin was Johnson. nice. Okay. He was nice. Walking Buck. I'm he was going nice. big man because everybody want to do guards and guards rings. Guards and rings, right? Shout out Al Jefferson. Big Al. I like that. Not jumping off. I the, like that. I'm not like jumping that. for nothing like short. Like baby that. hook every time. Right hand. Ah. All right, all right, we go. I, I got, I got a big man. Every time, I'm going Knicks. One of the Knicks legends, oh, bro. Here we go. David Lee. I hate uh, Nick. David this Lee. Nigga just said David Lee. David Lee, bro. Uh, what David you mean? Lee. David Lee was a bucket. I he was cool. You more if you said Steve Novak, even though he's not a big. No. He was ripping. David Lee, bro. All I'm right. stamping that, bro. Right. I, I love <laughs> David, David Lee, Lee, bro. All right, David Lee. I'm gonna go with Pedro Stojakovic. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's a Kings legend, but folks don't talk but about folks him a don't lot. talk about him. He don't, they don't talk about him. But if we going into legends that folks don't talk about a lot, Andrew Bynum. Thank you very much. Nah, I'm he's not, not jacking it. I'm, I'm not jacking it. I'm jacking it. I'm, jacking I'm not jacking it. it. Hey, hey, hey. He got that all star. He do. A he lot do. of niggas that, that we named him probably got one or two. Man, yeah, one or two all stars, or three all stars. The he most got his like. one, and you remember the hype coming into Andrew Bynum coming into the draft. The man landed Lakers, bro. He landed Lakers. That's how important the man was coming in. Okay, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm gonna pick um Darren Williams. Mm-hmm. There, I feel like he was underrated at the he time. Has, he was top two. He was a bro. He was a top. No, 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 no. Because he was, he was a best. top player in the NBA. He was on that Olympic team. for mad long. But niggas don't be known by him. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, don't I know about it. Historically, historically underrated. But Histori- during, yeah. during his time, he got his fair share. Yeah, no, nah, he did. Historically underrated, was though. One of the best. Because of how he went out. Yeah. I'm going to go with fighter. another underrated bull. Tayshawn Prince. Damn. Tayshawn Prince. A lot of niggas <laughs> be sleeping on Tayshawn. <laughs> I know. Because he ain't never averaged 25 plus, but he came in. Huh. 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 Like, he was. Oh, he man. Had, he, had, he had a bag. <laughs> He would go at it with your favorite. I don't want to right? say this guy. That'd be too funny. I'm not gonna say him. I was gonna say Will Bynum. <laughs> Will Bynum's crazy work. All right, my next he, dude. He could, he could hoop though. He could hoop. My next time. dude. I want to throw another was, pig in there though. I w- I'm gonna give my my honorable mention because I feel like I would have put him here. My honorable mention was Ty Lawson. Ooh. Just because he was getting buckets on those Nuggets Ty teams Lawson with the with the, with the headband, oh, I was gonna get Ty Lawson, but I decided to pivot. Respect my man, Hedo Turkoglu, bro. Hedo Turkoglu. Hedo was getting Hedo after it. Hedo was getting after it. Hedo Turkoglu was hard. They didn't know what he was on, bro. Hedo was getting after oh, it, Oh, my God, bro. Hedo Turkoglu was tough, bro. Who am I? All right. Who's my, this is my last pick now. I think I'm going to go big man, though. I'm going to go Nene, bro. Just, Nene, Nene's cool. I'm, I'm not mad at Nene. I respect it. He's I'm underrated. Not mad at he was Nene. underrated. He was that, pretty underrated. Like, he was Melo's he did, counterpart, bro. Like he, yes, I'm saying, like yeah. he. I'm not mad at Nene. Nene bro. was Nene was like that, bro. When I think of him. I think of Kenneth Farid as well. Yeah, he's what everybody Hold thought up, Kenneth Farid was going to turn my into. Last one. I'm gonna go with. Do I want to go big man, wing, or guard? Mm. You know what? Fuck it. Elgowskis. Mm. I was going to say Elgowskis. It was either going to be Elgowskis or Nene. Nene. I don't know which one. Elgowskis was was He played the most games with LeBron. He is the player that's played the most games with LeBron. And he was hooping. Yeah. Yeah. That was good one. Before AD and Bosh, he's probably the best big that LeBron played with for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your last one, go, Tom. My last one. I was gonna go guard. Another honorable mention. I was gonna go Mike Bibby, even though he's nice and people Mike know Bibby. it, but he's not re- mentioned as well as he should have, as well he sh- as he should be. Nigga, Jason Williams mentioned more than him. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. white boy. That's like, what the fuck? And Mike yeah, Bibby was starting yeah, over that nigga. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going. going I'm gonna yeah. go. Charlotte Bobcats mainstay for a while. Corey Maggette. Oh, oh I think he's going Jared oh, Wallace. Oh, Jared Wallace. I was Jared, about Jared Wallace Jared, is a good Jared one. Was one of them. Corey Maggette. Corey Maggette. Corey Maggette. Was, was, if I was going to say another Knicks nigga, I would say Wilson Chandler. I've never seen him in Wilson Neo Chandler. In the same room. Wilson Chandler would have been something for a couple years. Wilson Chandler. For a couple years, I'll say Wilson Chandler was that. Wilson Chandler's OD. Like could have Tyson Chandler. He started off. He started off slow. Finished off that guy. He was on that. He was on that Olympic team. 
Tyson. So let me give let me give niggas honorable mentions. Let me run it down that yeah. I didn't use. So we got I didn't use Joe Johnson. I was gonna say Joe Johnson, but I thought he was over, probably rated. Doug Christie. Mm. Ah. Doug Christie. Was Doug tough. Christie. Okay. 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 And then I already had my honorable mention, but one that just pops into my mind that I just loved off of them damn teams. And when he retires, he's gonna be one of them players. Boy, do I love me some Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder, he's still active, but he gonna be one of them ones, bro. <laughs> yeah, Jay Crowder gonna be one of them. Yo, like, yo you need a grit and grind player. Yo, three K- and Kmart two. Kmart. Kmart. Kmart was bro. good. Kevin Nigga Kmart, said Jay bro. Crowder. Yeah. Jay Crowder Martin. is a center that don't can't, can't be a center. Uh, yeah. He is. But he Kevin, is really a, a six Kevin, five nah, center. Not Kevin, Kevin bro. Kevin nah, Martin I'm talking about Jay Crowder. Crowder. Yeah, but Kevin Martin. Not Kevin, bro. Yeah, oh, Kevin, Kevin Martin. Fuck. Martin they said Kenyon Martin. Kenyon no, Martin. Bro. Oh, no, I'm talking about Kevin Martin. Kevin, Kevin Martin. Martin. Nigga shot that bit like this? Yeah, bro, he had a burner. That was my, Damn, that was I should have said that, nigga. That was my inspiration. Yeah, that, he, was was like he was tough. like this? He was tough. He was like that. He was... Nigga shot that bitch yeah. from the hip, bro. Nigga, <laughs> he, he just shot... <laughs> Nobody told He was... Killing, you're killing dude, everybody. Bro. When he went to Houston, was, damn, I, I should have said Kevin, Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin, bro, that was that was one of the players in 2K back then. That I always yeah. knew his release. Oh yeah, I always knew his release. Damn, Kevin, bro, Kevin Martin knew he was doing what had to be done on that basketball. So who y'all, who y'all think up right now? Who y'all think had the best? The I best think team? I had a pretty good list. I ain't gonna lie, I was finding things in the first in the beginning. Yeah, I got. Let's see. Let first, us know though. Yeah, let us know. The first, I ain't gonna lie. Your first, your first couple was was very tough. That was hitting, I, bro. I think I ended the segment strong. I'm not gonna lie. I think yeah, it was pretty was like, strong yeah, list. Yeah, I feel like Tom middle middle picks is gonna have people like. Yeah. Look at they, like, they, they not, finished, they not rolling with Andrew strong. Bynum. Now nah, yeah, Andrew Bynum was crazy. You could put Kevin Martin over Kevin. I'm here. I was thinking about it because Kevin Martin was one of my faves, but I'm like or Kenyon Martin. Yeah. Kenyon Martin is very tough. Yeah. Like, his son's going to take a jump this year, too. Kenny we'll see. Martin Jr. is going to take a jump. All right. So now we're going to do NBA trivia. But this time, you guys are all... You, these questions are pretty decently hard. Ooh. So you guys are on the same team. You guys can work together. So, NBA trivia. First question. Name five inactive NBA players with only one ring. Five inactive NBA players with only one ring. Yep. All right. So... That are not pl- just players that aren't playing anymore. No, pl- not playing. Uh, Jawan Howard has one ring, doesn't he? We got Dion Waiters. He got oh, okay. Dion Waiters. Jawan yeah. Howard has one ring. It was with Miami, wasn't it? Two. And then uh, you have another player that was in Miami that got one ring. It was uh, Gary Payton, correct? Gary Payton. And then you have another player that only has one ring. He was. Who else got one ring? Sean Livingston. He got. No, he has multiple. He has multiple. He has like two. Two? Yeah, yeah two. But uh, Richard Jefferson only got one. That was the Warriors, correct? No, nah, I think he got one with Brian. Oh, no. He, I think he got, got one with Brian. He got one with Brian. Bynum, 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 Bynum got how many with Kobe? Two. 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 No, Bynum's out. Yeah. Why is this a hard question? Think of, you, uh, you guys are thinking about like mid tier niggas. You can think about legends. Oh, okay. We are thinking about the. Yeah, I got to think about the mid tiers. I'll think about Gary. Oh, no. He GP already named him. Already named him. Already named him. We didn't mean GP. He got one. No, he did say. When he's on the Heat. He said on the Heat, he said Gary Payton. So we got GP. We got. Juwan Howard and Deion Waiters. Deion Waiters. Like, think about like actually. Ali Divac got one, didn't he? Mm mm. No, no, no. I'm thinking about somebody else. Just think about legends. That played with Kobe. How many Dr. J got? I think he got one. It was the Sixers, right? I think I feel like they won two. Two. Yeah, I think it might have been two, two, bro. They might have won two. Uh, mm. You guys are thinking a little bit too hard. Yeah, I don't you guys think about a little too but hard. I want to get a tough one. That's who why, the, like, I don't want to get a uh, end of the end of the bench with? player. How like, many rings Smush Parker got? <laughs> I don't want to get an end of the bench player, bro. Two. He definitely got Shannon Brown got one, I believe. No, he has two. He has two? Damn. Oh, shit. He got two uh, with Kobe. Oh, 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 oh. Tony Parker. No, no, no. Tony Allen has one. With the Celtics. Celtics yeah. Hey. Tony Allen has one. Okay. Damn, we could just... <laughs> Yo. I know. You get KG Paul Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know. You could have said them, yeah. nigga. That's what I'm saying. You guys is going... Was try- I was trying yeah, not to. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of someone I was, like... I feel like Tony Parker. Tony Y'all Allen... Want- Y'all want to get one for the Celtics, or you want to? We got KG Paul Pierce, bro. So you KG, so you guys got your five. That's your five. Yeah, yeah. You guys could have said Jason Kidd. Mavs. You could have said Dirk. Mavs, yeah. Could have said Oscar Robertson. Really? You should have said you should. You should have said all stars that only got one ring. I know. I should. I was thinking about it because I didn't think y'all was gonna think of niggas at the end of the bench. Mm -hmm. I'm like. (laughs) 
I'm nigga a, said Dion Waiters. I'm like, I'm what the fuck? That's my I'm man, no, I fuck with Dion Waiters, bro. I'm a weirdo. And Jerry I'm West a... also has one. Oh, yeah, because he went one for like a thousand. And yes. Like, yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, terrible. Shout out the Celtics, man. All right. Name the top three rebounders of all time. Like, uh, well, averaging, averaging. No, not averaging, uh, drum, total like, rebounds. Total rebounds. rebounds. Is, it, is, is Hakeem drum, there, Drum right? up there? Who? Drumming. Mm-mm. Hakeem there? Nope. Dennis? Nope. Uh... Carl Malone there, his nasty ass. Nope. Will, uh, Will's up there. Will's number one. Will's, Will's there. up there. And uh, then uh, Jack Sickman there for some reason. No, Jack nope. Sickman's not there. Uh, who's there? Shaq didn't play long. Is Hakeem there? Nope. Damn. Uh, that's a great question. Tony uh, is, is 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 uh, TD there? Tim Duncan? Nope. Uh-uh. Is David Robinson? David Robinson. Nope. Top three. Pat Ewing there? Nope. Rob, rebound it, rebound it, rebound it. It's not. It, you Charles guys are, Barkley, is he there? No. You guys are really thinking really hard for no reason. It's not. Is Dwight Howard? No, Dwight Howard. No. <laughs> Damn. You guys just thinking really hard for no reason. Like, it's really simple. Wilt there. You got Will. Bill Russell Bill there? Russell. Bill Russell's number two. Okay. Uh, we then, also asked it. And then. Uh, who's the third? Uh, Moses Malone. Nope. Uh, I think he was four or five. Uh, damn. Um. Thinking a little too hard. Just think simple. I'm trying to think simple, but I'm also trying to think of the team so I can just try and run through them. Uh, some of the best. You're missing. Kareem. Kareem is number three. Kareem. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, shit. That's who you for trying hard. Like, we, yeah, he yeah, was really yeah, trying to. I'm like, Jack Sigma. Nigga said Jack Sigma. Uh, that a, was weird. crazy. I feel like weirdo. it was going to be like a twist. Bro, because if you look up yeah. the most blocks of all time, it. Isn't there's some some dude there that went crazy in the nines I forget, but he's there. What the fuck? As well as Hakeem and some other dude. All right, all right. So how many championships does Magic and Bird have combined? Six, isn't it? Uh-uh. Combined. Combined. Magic has like f- Magic has four. Yes. Bird and, has. And Bird has three, three. So seven. Nope. Damn. Magic has five. You talking about? Are you including? You trying to trick us? What? Including college? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh. So. You guys are in the ballpark. Wait, Magic has it's, five. It's eight. Does Magic have five? It's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Magic it's eight. has five, right? It's eight. Yep. Magic it's has eight. five. Bird has three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Magic has five. Damn. All right. So, what years did Michael Jordan retire? It was. It was the years that Hakeem won. It was. Uh, he retired. It like was, it's not like the combined. Like yeah, he retired two thousand three. Yeah, that was his last retired, retirement. He retired ninety six, ninety five, ninety five, right? Nope. 97? Nope. No, because he won 97, 98. Nope, he won 98. 99, wasn't it? Oh, he won 99. 99. 99. He won 98, yes, 97, yes. 98. Yeah, 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 yeah. He retired. Yeah, 99. Retired 99, yeah, and now yeah. one more. I'm tweaking out. And then, because he retired 99 to go to the Wizards, and they retired mid-regime, so what, 94? 90. Mm-hmm. 93. 93. 93, okay, bro. Okay, 93. Okay, okay. I'm just being okay, okay. So, name the leading scores in the, in the NBA history. From five to ten, so not the top five, but the bottom five out of the top ten. Kobe. Nope. Kobe's in what places? Kobe's Kobe? four. Damn. Um. Hang on, hang on. You have, all right, you have LeBron, you have Kareem, you have Carmelo. Tim Duncan. Nope. What? You have who's a five to ten? 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 Five Paul to ten. Pierce is in there, right? No, he not. He not. Uh, he's up there though. Kareem. He's like twenty, maybe. He's not like he's not that much. Like Melo is eleven. Is Wilt there? Wilt is number seven. Okay, and then who's score? Bill Russell. Is Larry Bird there? No. Bill Russell not up there. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wilt. Doctor J. No. Man, ain't counting the ABA. Say Kobe is Kobe is. Kobe is <laughs> Kobe is five, you said, or six? Kobe's He's four. Four? Who'd be right below Kobe? Uh, Melo's uh, 11. Uh, Jordan. Jordan's Jordan. five. MJ. five. There we go. Bro. Yeah. MJ, you have Wilt. You have... Um, you got Michael Jordan and Wilt. You guys just yeah. need six, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, I lied. Melo is not 11, I guess. Okay. I guess I looked at old stats. Okay. So Melo's not and 11. Who are some of the legacy? What Melo had there? 
Mm. Oh, Mellow, nigga. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Is Mellow? Here, Biggest game. Mellow is number nine. Who are some of the... Oh, so Mellow's there. Yeah, yeah Mellow so is there. Yep. We have Mellow, we have Wilt, we have MJ. We have... Um, You're just missing six, eight, and ten. Malone's in the top five. I know that. So is LeBron. So is Kareem. Uh, I'm wild about though, KD. Yeah. No, yeah. It's crazy. But, uh, <laughs> That's not KD. <laughs> Who played long enough? In the I'm league. surprised Timmy D's not in this yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. But Steve Nash definitely not fucking. No, no, no. Shaq in the top ten. Shaq's in the top ten. Shaq is number eight. There we go. That's four. Yeah, that's tough. And then we have Hakeem not in the top ten. Nope. Hakeem is not. Hakeem is number twelve. Damn. Um. KD is actually thirteen. Charles Barkley? Very tough. Charles, Charles Barkley, Barkley is not in the top 25. Um, oh, shit. Damn. I'm trying to think of the the NBA 50 celebrate or 75. Celebrate. You guys are missing 6 and 6, 8, and 10. Again. 6, 8, and 10. So Dominique Wilkins, bro. Dominique Wilkins is 15. Oh, oh, 6, shit. 8, and 10. 6, 8, and 10. Who are some of these greatest players, bro? Uh, I know Chris Paul. Old ass no, he's not in it. Uh, you guys want some hints? Yeah, give, me, give me like, give me a little bit to think. Um, mm, Should I see it up? Mm, I'll take it here. I feel like if you tell me here, I'm gonna know. Is Clyde Drexler there? No. no. So these players, <clears throat> um. Two, you sh- these players create an Oreo, if you know what I mean. Pause. An Oreo. I mean, you know, some freak shit, bro. <laughs> Freaky Friday, but uh, <laughs> one guy in here is white. Who the hell? Jerry West in that bit? Jerry West is number it's 75. 23. All right. 23. Um, oh, wow. Who's there? Uh, it's a white dude. Steve Nash in that bitch? Nope. You're missing him. Oh, no, you're no. missing a very famous Dirk white. Nowinski. Dirk Nowinski Dirk. is number six. Dirk. Dirk Nowinski, Dirk. bro. Dirk. He's number six. Damn. Dirk. How, how did that shit go over my head, right? Now you're just missing eight and ten. I'm thinking, because I, I, I'm trying to think of the franchise, but I'm forgetting franchise. That's why I ain't even thinking it. Uh, D-Wade? D-Wade. No. 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 Um, These guys are big men. Mm. 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 No Hakeem. We already got Kareem. We already got Wilt. We already got Shaq. Oh, wait, no. Did you say Shaq? Yeah, yeah. we got Shaq. We said Shaq. Oh, you guys said Shaq already? Okay. Yeah. Then you're just missing one more. We already said Shaq. I don't know if you said Shaq or we not. Already said, uh, we already said... Uh, who are the big, we already said Hakeem. He's not there. We said... Is Moses Malone there? Moses Malone is number 10. There we go. Bro, you definitely said Moses Malone. That was for another one. That was for rebounding. Oh, yeah, he said for rebounding. Okay, okay. for rebounding. There we go. There we go. All right. Moses. All right. I like slam dunks to take me to the hoop. My favorite play is the alley hoop. <laughs> they give and go because it's basketball. Mr. Curtis Bloop. Yo, please. That's how I'll be rapping. I'll be honest. That's how I'll be rapping. Yo, bro, please. That's how I'll be rapping. Yeah. All right. What year is the T-Mac lead the league in scoring? Just give me one year. You better know. 2000. What was 2004? Three. Correct. 2002, 2003. So that's okay, the season. There you go. Come on now, I know Bay Boy. Yes, sir. What NBA player played on the most NBA teams? Shaquille O'Neal. No. Like, no. No, it's got to uh, be. Is it Sebastian? No, not Sebastian. DJ Augustine. Close, no. Really? Jermaine O'Neal. He is a guard. He's, He's played guard. on 13 NBA teams. It's not Sebastian Telfair. He wasn't no nope. long enough. That nigga went to jail. Nate Robinson. Yeah. No. Uh, He's up there, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's up there. Oh. Uh, damn, he's a guard. DJ Augustine's up there. Is this from, uh, is this, is this guy played during our lifetime? Yep. Dude, he, he might have recently, up. he might be still in the NBA right now. Rondo? Nope. Uh, yeah, definitely not Rondo. Um, Rondo only played for like five teams. That's not enough. Um, I keep it being, I don't think I know. A journeyman? Thing. Very much journeyman. Damn. It's Smith. There you go. Oh, I forgot. Ish Smith, Ish, yeah. You stand. You stand on Ish me. Smith. Yeah, definitely Ish Smith. All right. 
Who has the highest three point percentage of all time? Pedro Stojakovic. No. Curry. Nope. It's not Curry. It's not Curry. Nope, it's not Curry. It's not Curry. Highest three point percentage, not most threes made. Yeah, but highest percentage. I thought it was Steve Kerr. No, not Steve Kerr. Um, and is there a minimum attempts on this? Is, or it, is, it, is it, that's only taking but, uh, the name with a start name start with a P? No. Is there's not? Is there a certain amount, like a limited amount of? Attempts? This guy takes a lot of threes. Okay. Um, Clay Thompson. No, he. I'll give you a hint. He's still in the NBA. KD. Nope. Takes a lot of threes. Uh, Trey Young. Nope. Hell no, ain't no Trey Young. <laughs> hey, they go walking brick. Uh, no, bro. Yeah, Trae Young. But uh, terrible shot selection, almost mm. as bad as Jalen Green. But um, let's see who's still in the league, bro. Yep. With the most threes ever, like highest percentage ever. It's not Kyle. Corbin. Kevin Love. Nope. It's not Kyle Corbin. He's not in the league no more. Somebody you guys would never have thought. He's not in the league no more. It's not. Jay, I say no. Yeah. LeBron not. James. Nope. He is white. Why you gotta be? Um, it's not. It's not K Love though. Nope. Mm-mm. I feel like it would have been him. His three point percentage was forty seven percent. You start playing with LeBron. That's when he started shooting when he got skinny. He is it Kyle play. Guy? No. Mm. I know he shot. He shot forty seven percent from the three. He's white and he's still in the league. If I tell you the team he was on, you will know exactly. It's in the East. He played for the Celtics? No. Uh, white dude. Close Shit. to home. Brooke Lopez? Nope. White guy. White Guard. Guy. It's not Joe Harris. It is Joe Harris. Jesus Joe God, Harris. Christ. It the is Joe of all Harris. Time, bro. 47%. He's right. He's right. I He's thought right. he just led the league a couple times, but he nah. has the highest three point percentage. 47% ball. from three, bro. Uh, damn. All right. Is Joe Harris. Who was the last team to join the NBA? That's in the league right now? Yeah. It was the Pelicans, Chris? isn't it? No. It's not the Pelicans. No, Grizzlies? as in like join like the, the city. Grizzlies. Nope. The join the city is the New Orleans Pelicans, isn't it? No, nah, they came back. Charlotte Hornets. Not the Hornets. Not the Charlotte Hornets. What were they before? The the Charlotte Bobcats. There you go. Uh-huh. I, when I looked up, it said Bobcats. So I, I might it might have been Hornets because when they switched it to Hornets, because they kept switching back yeah, and they forth. They switched it to the Hornets. That was the last switch that happened because the switch that happened from Hornets to Pelicans happened right before that. Okay, okay. Went from Hornets to Pelicans, and then they went to Charlotte, and then it went from the Bobcats to the Charlotte Hornets. Mm-hmm. All right, and I got one last question. It's a multiple choices for the end of the day. Okay. Who won the dunk contest in 2020? Obi Toppin, Anthony Simons. Hamidou Diallo or Derek Jones Jr. Hamidou Diallo because I remember it where was he was. Are you sure? It was Hamidou. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Final answer. Yeah. yeah, he was on the Thunder. It's incorrect. Oh, it was he Derek won in was 2019. Suns. It was Derek. Derek Jones Jr. Jr. Oh, Derek Jones. Oh, shit. On the it was definitely him. It was on definitely him. Right? Yes. No, yes. he was on the Suns. He was no. He was on like. He oh, was on the Heat. Way cheated. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the that nine. was 2020. Oh, they cheated Aaron Gordon. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. I was for that one. That too. was 2020. Wow. Crash out the fact that. It, wow. I just overwoop, bro. Yeah. Because I definitely knew that. Because yeah, Hamidou yeah. Diallo won the year before. The year well, before, Hamidou yeah. Before yep. 2020, it was. Yep. They cheated. Damn. Type of shit. But that you, was they cheated Aaron Gordon. He said he's never doing it again. Yeah. But Damn. you all got any other go. questions before we end the podcast? Uh. Nah, bro. I think I'm cool. You don't got nothing to say to the people, bro. Um. Free the oppressed, baby. Free the oppressed, man. Keep being y'all, bro. Don't switch up for nobody, bro. Never, uh, bro. Just no matter how you do it, when you do it, Joe. Just be yourself, man. And it'll all come full circle. I promise you, bro. Type shit, bro. Yeah, uh, man. keep supporting. You know what I'm saying? Pass on the message to everybody. Pass on the podcast to everybody. You know what I'm saying? We we love the support. We love when y'all contact us. We we on the we on the whoop, man. We on the two K. For me, one of the top teams on a 3v3 pro air, bro, come check us out. You feel me? If y'all catch us, you feel me? Tag us. You feel me? Screenshot that y'all playing us. We're going to whoop y'all ass because we really got the whoop, bro. Yeah, we're really try hard. It's like, really, really bad. Yeah. It's really bad. Very I think, what are we, 50 and 56 and 8, I think? Yeah, about yeah, 56 we, and 8. Yeah, we, we. So let us know. You feel me? If y'all see us, you know, 
Send a message type to shit. Like, Yo, we just played y'all. We lost. Like, let us know. We if you see me playing, you're probably going to have a good time, win, blah, blah, blah. But if I'm playing with them, then you're going to get eviscerated. I'm going to have a terrible time, but we're going to beat you in the worst <laughs> way possible. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank y'all again for coming to the podcast, bro. And thank y'all sure, for sure. tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast. Good people. Love each other. Type shit. Do your homework. You know if y'all need new content coming soon, we got the gaming content already going down. We got trivia. We got the adventure vlogs. It's all coming through. So tune in for that. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you knew all that good stuff. Follow the social, follow my guys and things like that. Nature. And anything else? Any uh, other words? Last words? Join the uh, Discord. You get popping in there. Come debate me. You'll lose. Type bro. shit, bro. It'll be a good time. Hey, bro. We different. They regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.